Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Darkest Dungeon 2. This is gonna be a bit of a special video. I love Darkest Dungeon. I played a ton of the first one and the second one just came out of early access and I wanted to give it a shot. But instead of doing that all by myself, I thought, why don't we go on this journey together and we see what Darkest Dungeon 2 was all about. And if you don't know Darkest Dungeon at all, don't worry, you don't have to know the first game to know what's going on here. They're completely standalone games. And the gameplay itself is revolved around the Darkest Dungeon. You're taking four unfortunate souls into the darkest dungeon and you try to make it through now this dungeon is filled with all kind of lovecraftian horrors and it is an absolutely brutal game it'll try to kill you every chance it gets and it does it is it is up to us to slowly learn how to get through this dungeon learn of our mistakes and try to beat the whole thing now it's gonna be a fun ride it's gonna be very difficult let's see if we can do it i hope you join me if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you just like it just like it but let's not waste any more time let's hop into the game let's go Oh boy, begin new journey. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh baby, the art style. That's one of those things. The art style in Darkest Dungeon. I, I saw some, some shots from this and it, it seemed like they stepped up the art even more. Already loved it in the first one. Uh, this clock seems to be stuck. I don't think we're getting anywhere. You can already see the themes. It's pretty dark in here. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Ruin has found you at last. Oh, the voice, the narrator. Protégé, He's back. My friend. Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. Oh, my. And everywhere, unbridled consequence. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet, you must ride out into it. Unafraid. <laughs> voice actor so good. Same voice actor from the first Take one I'm this. hearing. It is hope. The very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold <laughs> once more. Dude, I'm so excited. Holy shit, I love Darkest Dungeon. Suffocating stillness. Fix your gaze on the horizon. And face the fearsome truth. The Darkest Dungeon. Of the Darkest <laughs> Dungeon. You know it's coming, baby. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> now, I know the gameplay is quite different between this one and the first one, which is awesome. Uh, I love the first one. It's... This one is more like shorter bursts of gameplay, I think. Whereas the first one is just like a super your long. Oh. Adrift in this bituminous nightmare. Begin your confession. The first one is more like a long playthrough. This ones are like short bursts of playthroughs with a lot of a lot of mistakes and a lot of stuff you have to learn along the way. Begin your confession. Prologue. Send me. Uh, Reos captions. What is that? Captains. Bruce captains. Oh. Am I moving this? I am moving. W A S D I C or just A N D. Oh, I can click this. Right light. I know failure well. I glimpsed it lurking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. Why am I going so slow? And I trembled at its terrible reverberations. Did it? I hope the crossroads. A place between places i hope the 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 voice actor got a massive raise on this one because he is carrying the game dude i mean not that the gameplay needs to be carried but oh boy is the voice actor a big part of it of just the whole atmosphere the party four heroes will join together on this expedition your salvation rides with them we got the stage code which is our carriage coffin and confessional we can okay w to go forward s to halt it and then we stare it. Oh, we will also still automatically. I see stagecoach view with Z. Press Z to bring up the stagecoach view. This shows what items are currently installed as well as the current armor and wheels. Stagecoach items can only be changed at the Wainwright who is present at each inn. The Wainwright also repair, can repair uh, armor and wheel for a fee. I see. Uh, party creation, drag or double tap. Heroes part for to assemble your party of four heroes. The hero in the rightmost position. Yeah, I'm familiar with this stuff. Okay. Well, we only got four heroes here as an option. 
I'm guessing we're just going to drag them into place. More devastating oh. than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. I want to hear the I want to hear what he has to say about everyone. Hunted, <laughs> harried, a fugitive seeking to outpace. We're going to get path. very familiar with these characters. That's like one of those fun parts of Darkest Dungeon that you like slowly build up rapport with all of these characters. Avarice slips unseen into the catacombs of the mind. And we got Paracelsus. Indiscriminate science stains the surgeon's hands. This art style, though. Holy shit. Uh, okay, well, I, I'm familiar with these characters because I played the first one, and they're... I think uh, that one I don't fully recognize, but I'm, I think it's just a grave robber. The valley. <laughs> Woo. Hey, 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 look at this shit. And let us hope enough yet remain Do we touch this or do we dodge world? this? Roster arrangement. Uh, I'm guessing I'm just going to hit the that. I didn't see a way around. Nile is giving way. Oh, here we go. Combat time. We get armor. Lock takes 50 per minus 50 damage from the next hit. I see. Well, we got usually. So every character has a turn. You have like turn based combat here uh, and all of their skills are some of them are like just regular. Like it's just a melee hit. Also, it is a heal apparently or well. Self heal when target has this. Uh, I don't know what that is. Um, then we have this attack, which makes moves you forward. I think I gotta move slightly so uh, it's easier to read the descriptions. Yeah, I'm gonna move like over here. I think that's fine. Uh, let's see. We got. I'm just gonna hit. We got defender. Self gives bonus and target gets bonus. Okay, so that's like a huge defense. This is a stress heal. Which stress is a huge aspect of Darkest Dungeon, uh, where uh, basically if your stress reaches maximum, you'll you'll have some kind of like uh, mental breakdown, uh, and it can have positive effects as well. But that's really rare. Usually, you'll just suffer like a massive meltdown. Uh, anyway, we're just gonna smack the first guy here. Get smacked. We got 13 HP. We got Grave Robber. We got Pick to the Face, which is just a regular melee attack, I'm assuming. And we have this crit when target has skull, I see. Uh, we have a Throne Dagger, which has a different range. You can see over here in the middle uh, where it's like uh, the, the yellow are where I need to be. So positioning is a big, important part of this. Uh, yellow is I can only use this if I'm in this position, this position or this position. If I was all the way at the back, I couldn't use the skill at all. So sometimes enemies will move you around and stuff like that, which will make it hard to use your skills, which is just it's a very interesting how many mechanics they managed to squeeze out of like a simple four uh four party turn-based combat game uh we got thrown dagger which is just like a thrown dagger then we got flashing daggers which i'm assuming hits two spots at once it hits the two middle spots and we have poison dart which applies poison i'm assuming uh and absinthe is a heal which only works if you are a low hp i see all right we're gonna go with uh pick to the face just target this one guy down Hopefully get him out of here. Also, we got we can up here. We can see the turn order. I see. So this guy is moving after we have moved. So let's try and kill him. We got Dismas. Let's go. He's back from the this guy. I I remember playing a lot with him in the first game. We have uh, what is this? We have four to eight damage on a on a wicked slice. We got a pistol shot. His classic classic move. We got duelist advance advance, which also moves you forward. I see. Uh, I think I'm just gonna wicked slice you. I can't shoot the front with the pistol shot, so and I want to kill this guy. There we go, death blow. Consider yourself dead. Uh, and then we have our plague doctor. We can do poison, or we can do ounce of prevention, which gives us a bunch of debuff resists. I'm assuming and some disease resists. I'm guessing that is. Uh, we're gonna throw some uh, some blight on you. Dude, you're almost dead. What are you gonna do? Oh, yeah, and we got that armor thing. Nice. Smack him. I should probably use my throwing dagger there. We'll get used to things. Let's shoot him. Boom. Critical, even. <laughs> Let's messy. go. What do you mean, messy? You. That was, like, the cleanest fight of all time. Literally took one hit. Uh, we get victory. Can this sh sh stuff go out of... I, I'm just gonna, like... I, I am pretty familiar with the combat. I think I, I can do... Mostly without reading all of the tutorials, but we'll see how it goes. I'll try and explain it as much as possible as well, because I know there's going to be people watching that have no idea what Darkest Dungeon is all about. We got a minor bouncer's belt. 
which is armor. It gives 15 healing received from skill and 15 minus 15% movement resist, I'm assuming. Uh, Candle of Hope, Altar Currency, Feigned Glimmers that whisper of a brighter hereafter. Don't know what that is, but I'll take all of it. Are you shaken? <laughs> there is so much worse in store. There is so much worse in store. Got an encounter. They are truly like, they're truly making sure you know what's going on here. Equipping trinkets. Wait, that's what I want to do. Open the inventory with I. Okay. And drag a trinket because trinkets are super important in the first game. Oh, I can't do that now because I'm in this combat encounter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's finish this first. The desperate few. Encounters. During encounters such as this one, you must pick one of the choices by holding a le a left mouse button on one of your heroes. The result will be previewed at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so we have two people that want to do something. We get plus a hundred torch and a trinket or plus a hundred torch and some bandages. I just want a trinket. We don't need any bandages right now. Let's do you. Ah, hope nice. springs in the unlikeliest places. We get minor protectorate and healing given minus 10 damage. Okay, interesting. If you have a healer, you can use that on them. Let's equip this trinket we got. Oh, I have to click on you. Right click, right click. Okay, uh, I want to, well, let's see. We have healing received from skill. Healing res received from skill and minus movement received. Do we even have any healing? Do you heal? You have a battlefield medicine. If HP is low, Heal 20. Okay, wait, that's actually pretty sick. And then we can do this, because you mostly do Blight anyway, I'm assuming. Yeah, you mostly just throw Blight, and I'm guessing that's not going to be affected by the damage down, so that's going to be perfect. And then I think you're going to be taking most of our hits, so I'm going to give you the healing received up. Let's go. Up here, we got our wheels and our armor. When 100% each hero starts you combat with it. armor, I see. A change in the air. When 100% each hero gains 50% travel. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading Holy stain. Shit. Heroes. The hero sheet holds critical information. I know. We'll open it with C though. That's that's useful. Uh, I can always use the keybinds if I'm figuring out something. Okay, we got a big boy here, and we got this lady. Now, if there's anything I know about Darkest Dungeon, it's that the smallest, the smaller uh, an enemy is, the more you have to be afraid of them. Because usually, the smaller the enemy, the more stress damage, and especially if they don't hold a weapon. The less, <laughs> the less conventional someone's weapon, the more scared you have to be of them because they inflict stress damage. So I'm going to focus fire the Widow here because I don't like the look of you. <laughs> We're going to do a thrown dagger on you. This is doing barely any damage. I'm guessing that's just because we're... Let's see. Can we do a little... Let's do a little block. Let's do a little block for distance here. Defender. Yeah, sure. Let's try that out. And then we're gonna throw some blight on you at the back. Oh, I can do. Oh, I can only do that on the front, actually. Never mind. But I can do blinding gas, which target gives its skull 25% chance, and it gives them blindness. Okay. It also gave them. What is this combo? Wait, whoa, 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 what's this? Combo triggers additional skill effects when targeted. Uh oh, you just applied horror to us. Everyone is going crazy. Get juked. Uh, academic view. Just so so much stuff is happening. Don't worry. We'll, we'll we'll slowly make our way through this. We'll understand it all by the end. During combat, hold Alt or middle mouse button while mousing over heroes or enemies to see the academic view. This valuable screen shows full details on any tokens the combat has. The view also shows details about what combat skills enemies have. Start, skills start hidden, but as you observe the enemy use them in combat, the details will be revealed. Okay, I see. Cool. Yeah, just like chess match immediately. Uh, we have you. What do you got? Triggers additional skill effects when targeted. Oh, interesting. So you build combo stacks. So some skills apply combo stacks. Other st skills, I'm assuming, gets rid of them. Like this one. Target gives stun, I'm guessing. Uh, middle mouse button. There is beauty in our imperfections. How, how do I how do I hover over this? Click on the skill. I I wanna I wanna 
want to hover over this the the stun but whatever it's fine <laughs> i'm just gonna shoot you and let's see what happens he, they resisted they resisted the stun so that is stun stun resisted the bottom right you can see all their resistances okay well you're almost dead i'm just gonna finish the job actually when it, no you're that doesn't hit there you go all right you're out of here you also inflict a horror the by the way which is uh stress i'm guessing 75 percent for three turns gonna get rid of that i don't think i can all right let's start poisoning the big boys 20 poison resist but hopefully it'll hit it did hit nice Doing some some DOT damage. Old Holy fast. shit! For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Okay, you're gaining stress. I also have this, uh, which is bolster. It removes stress. Uh, you know what? Since this is early game, oh, I can't do it on myself. I can only do it on other people. God dang it. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's just smack you. Oh, I had a weakness stack. I see. They're blighting me. They're going full for this guy. I knew it was going to get hit the most. Uh, I'm going to take aim. Self, crit, and I don't know what the double slice is. Uh, can I like... Wait, let's see. Is there like a way to view... Give me a sec. There, token glossary. Here we go. Oh, this is heaven. Okay, we got dodge. I see dodge. 50% chance to dodge the next attack. Okay, this we're going to be seeing this a whole lot, I'm guessing. Um... Okay, so we and then what was the crit one? We have crit. It was crit. <laughs> Next skill is a hundred percent to crit and ignores twenty percent resistances. Interesting. All right, let's just shoot the middle guy. Three damage. We are doing pathetic amounts of damage. Oh boy. Um, let's do some poison dart. Let's just start keep stacking up the blight. The enemy weakens. Six damage. That's a dude. What did you just do? You are blocking. Protected by woodsman. I see. Can you bolster yourself now? You can still not bolster yourself. Okay, so this is just a skill that only works on other people. I see. Um, I guess we'll just smack you. We're just gonna try and stack up the poison, maybe. We can heal you. Oh, it just gets rid of this. It only heals when you're low HP, I see. But it did get rid of the blight. Uh, so usually in these games, or... After you do a combat, all your stats are, are like, they, they remain after the battle. It's not like, uh, like games where after a battle, you just heal the fool again. So you have to manage during each fight. You have to manage all your stats because you're going to be left with them by the end. Especially stress can be really debilitating if you leave it, like it, let it stack up. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just do this. Keep stacking up the blight. Oh, he persists it though. Another campaign I've run to ruin. Okay, he is uh, getting stressed out the wazoo. Uh, you're about to die because you have six and you got six HP. So that's totally fine. Uh, and then I'll just hit this guy. Oh, oh yeah, but he was being protected by this guy anyway. So wait, he was death's door. Excuse me. They do that. Wait, they got death's door. The enemies. I don't remember that from the first game. That's illegal. Tactical thinker. Wait, is that your skill or something? Tactical thinker. Plus five crit and round start. You have 15% to get a super dodge. Let's go. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming... Oh, you got 15% death. How unlucky am I? Holy shit. He hit a death's door with... He hit two death's doors with 15%. That's insane. Uh, so the mechanics you just saw, death's door is uh i i thought it only applied to the heroes i at least at least in the first game i think it does where if your hero reaches zero they don't immediately die they have a chance to resist death uh and every time they get hit it basically checks that again and sometimes you'll get unlucky and they'll immediately die sometimes you get super lucky and they'll survive like 10 hits it just depends there's a lot of rng involved in this game all right so i'm just gonna let you die to your blight hopefully i'm assuming it's not gonna do another 15 Oh, well, never mind. I forgot about that thing. <laughs> the unrelenting application of violence yields oh, morbid gains. Just keep smacking. Monster death blows. Here we go. Some monsters have death blow resistance, just like heroes do. When a monster is on death's door, each further blow has a chance to slay it. Some skills and trinkets can increase the chance of executing the enemy outright. I see. Um, let's do a little bit of a pick to the face right there. 
then just finish it off. We could, if we just kill you now, you don't get a hit. I'm gonna knock. Do you got any death blow resist? He does not. There we go. Put potion to the face for a death blow. <laughs> nice. Victory. Yours for the taking. We get pouch of lie. Uh, clear all corpses. It's a combat item, I see. And then we have more candles of hope. Nice. Okay, so far, so good. So far, we've taken barely a scratch. Rest and resupply await you. Uh, do I hit this? It doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe it's just decoration. Um, combat items are equipped into a dedicated skill slot on each hero. To equip one, drag it. Equipping a combat item allows it to be used during combat. Combat items are free actions. One item may be used each hero's turn right before they use their normal skill. Cool. All right. Uh, oh, God. I wanted to drag it in, but I guess we're going to this thing. We got a bunch of money. Oh, that's the, that's the big mountain, the darkest dungeon over there. There are yet places they got an achievement. A place a to lay your head. Still gathers. Let's go. Uh, the Resolute Companion reach, reached... Or the Resolute Companions reached a torch and crown. Two candles gained for reaching the inn. Okay, so this is the inn. Gonna chill. Prologue complete. You have found your fortitude at last. Collect what hope you can and end your expedition here. Okay, we were just a simple tutorial. I see. Okay, well, I have... And I, I guess this doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, do I do anything here? I guess I just click end expedition. Expedition end. Um, the prologue quest is complete. For this first venture through the valley, there's nothing left to do. So end expedition at the lower left on the end screen. Normally, the expedition can end in three ways. Victory, defeat, or abandoning. I see. All right, we're going to end expedition. Learn a little and begin again. Let's go. We got five candles. We got barely anything because it was a really short mission. Uh, this will end your expedition. Yes, uh, there was no other choice. You literally just told me this. Do not despair. There is nobility in the attempt. Why are you flaming me? Weren't you ending early? Wait, I, you asked me to end the game. Excuse me. <laughs> Don't flame me. At any point, you can end the expedition and collect your candles of hope. During normal expeditions, making it to the inn, next inn is usually worth the effort because it will award significant additional candles. Yeah, well, unless you die. I don't know if you lose all the candles when you die. What even are candles? I should have probably... They, they probably explained that somewhere. <laughs> we got this thing. Let me guess. This is going to be where I use candles. Altar of Hope. Seems like there's a lot of candles here. Here we go. The Altar of Hope. Each expedition, you earn Candles of Hope. The Altar is where you spend those candles to unlock new classes, items, pets, and more. For this first visit, you must visit the Working Fields. Working Fields? Working Fields. Spare a thought for tools of iron. Such implements will serve us well. Okay, I see. Um, what is this? We got trinkets, we got combat items, stage code items, and in items. I can literally get one of each. You know what? I'll just do one of each. What is this? A drop of sanity in a sea of madness. Strong shackles, distant trinkets. Apply on hit to a uh, trap. Gain when missed. Stun. Oh, wait, what? Apply on hit, you apply trap, but you have a chance to stun yourself if you miss. Interesting. Okay. I'm just going to do one of each just to see what, what we got here. Smelling Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. We got a combat item, one target, remove stun and stun. Wait a minute. This is not I thought this was both stun. Okay, I don't know what this is then, but we got dodge. Wait, I can look at it. Uh what is that? Days. Next turn will be delayed to the end of the round. Converge to stun when stacked. I see. Okay, thank you. Uh let's do a stage goes item. A welcome advancement in the science of survival. Uh, we have medical gear. After each location, you can remove disease with 10%. So your characters can get disease. I'm assuming they can also get quirks and stuff like in the first game, but we'll figure to that out as we go. Thing is to make it real once more. All right, we're going to do this one. Whiskey bottle. instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. In item, whiskey, two targets. We have 67% chance for yellow and 33% chance for blue. 
thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll see what that's all about. Let's embark me, because we did everything. Once more into the maelstrom, in search of what hope yet remains. I say you really love, like, figuring out the mechanics in these games. Even if you know all the mechanics, they're still brutal. So we're incentivized to learn quickly, but it's... I don't know. It's, it's fun to, to decipher game mechanics. Oh, boy. The seat of your denial. Perched precariously in the murky gloaming. Okay, complete your confession. We have one... Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I hereby acknowledge and accept... The fullness and severity of my mistakes. Denial. Sure, we'll do denial first. You have cowered in your crumbling denial long enough. Ah. We're going into our own. This is some kind of I remember paranormal our first world. meeting world. on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Interesting. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination for archaeology, folklore, and, of course, occultism. <laughs> the crossroads. A beacon for the broken and the battered. Interesting. So they're like just telling us a story. Uh, I don't know if I've ever beaten the first one. I don't think I have. The, fir the first one, it takes like 100 hours. Or, uh, not 100 hours, but it's really long to do a playthrough. Uh, and it's very brutal. So <laughs> anyway, the man at arms. We got our we got our party back. Well, it seems like we didn't. Oh, yeah, we didn't unlock any new heroes. I'm just going to throw all our friends in there More again. Devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. There we go. All right. We've, oh, wait, they have goals. What is this? Goal visit a whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we get candles. We get candle reward. Visit a hero shrine. Visit a field hospital. Land the killing blow on two plus pillagers. Scout a region with a watchtower. Okay, cool. Those are like bonus quests. Interesting. I like it. Give you a little bit more progression. The valley. Interesting how the text is like just black on slight. You came White here glow. seeking solace, but found stagnation instead. I'm gonna hit all of these. Maybe there'll be loot in one of these. Or maybe it's just a complete waste of my time, but it Comforts keeps me something to do. <laughs> Ahead, only trial and tribulation. Oh, baby. Is he gonna say trinkets and bobble pays for in blood at some point? He better. Way. This best line. Uh, oh, we gain armor. Oh, yeah, because if we got full armor on the stagecoach. All right, we're gonna once again, you do horror bullshit. I do not want to deal with that. So get critted, dummy. Nice. Okay, uh, and then throwing dagger and you're dead. Oh my god, the one damage short. Okay, I'm just gonna go full. This doesn't do any damage, does it? Dang it. Um, I'm gonna blind this you just so you. This is like we're going full all in on this one, but. I don't want you to hit me. No! At its stun, and you move forward. God damn it. Usually you gotta tar- So usually you're like targeting certain enemies. I'm just gonna fully death blow you. It doesn't matter. Um, because you wanna like reduce the amount of attacks you get. And the best way to do that is to kill the enemy. You're gonna buff for stun resist. Okay, so you can't get like chain stunned, I see. Uh, we're gonna I'm assuming pistol shot is your best. It does three to six damage. This does four to eight damage Which is just Purely better Why would I use this then? Oh because it can target the back line, I guess All right, I'm gonna use this then. I did not realize it. usually he is all about guns uh, Then we'll do noxious blast on you so you die As long as the blight hits nice our tank is not giving a shit. I mean, he's getting some stress. That's fine. Uh, just smack him. The other guy is dead, right? He doesn't have death ball resist. There the we go. Bye. Variable can make all the difference. What is this, by the way? Uh, so in the first game, you have a torch as well. And the torch, like, it gives you buffs to combat when it's at full. And it gives you buffs to how much loot you receive at zero. To have, like, a risk and reward kind of system. Here, it seems we have death blow resist. 
if we have the light up and enemies have chance to be blinded by the light, I see. Okay, what is your best attack? We got three to five damage here. Four, seems like the melee damages are just better. I mean, this has more crit, but that's... I'm just gonna hit this. Alright, we could slice him real good. Nice. A lesson taught is a lesson learned. Oh boy. Mastery points. Mastery points are invested at the end to upgrade hero skills. Interesting. We got rural riches. Baubles, they glitter, resplendent, and wistful. Okay, take the relics as well. Take everything. Just leave it are all. Are you shaken? There is so, so much, much worse in store. store. We got Bob. Oh boy, everything is happening all at once. Do not let the flame expire. The stagecoach carries the flame, which is the last hope for the world. It will gradually diminish as you drive, but helping local populace in assistance encounters can refill it. The lower it gets, the harder things will be for your party. Okay, so there's like your only negative mechanics in this one. In the first one, there are some positive aspects of being, being low torch here. It seems to be just negative. Or at least that's what they said. Oh boy, into the inn we go. Time the to chill. Your heart crackles invitingly once again. Oh, we got a whiskey bottle that we just unlocked. We get two candles as well for reaching the inn. You lose stress. Let's see, what does this do? It does minus stress and... What are these tokens? These are not on this, so they're not combat tokens. Let's just find out. Let's just do whiskey on you. Oh, it's two targets. Okay, you drink as well, Dismas. Have fun. What was that? But just got like they went angry at each other. Their relationship. Um, where do I see that? Relationships. Oh, that's unlucky. Okay, possible to form a negative relationship. I see. Whoa, what is all this? Um, negative relationships. Eighteen percent. I see. In buffs, Orison. Okay. Uh, so you suck. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, he he's evasive, so we don't want to talk. We don't want to give you that. I should have checked your, your quirks first. So they got quirks, positive and negative quirks, uh, which are just like, they can be literally anything. In this case, flawed release is just like minus five crit. This is negative. It, it gives you dodge at the start. So it's positive in combat, but negative out of combat. Interesting. I like that. That's cool. Okay, we got mastery trainer. One learns here. quickly when survival demands it. Mastery trainer. We have five mastery points, which we can level up our. Let's see, mastery skills. Each hero has one upgrade level. Oh, one. each hero skill has one upgrade level. To upgrade, hold this cost of mastery. Master skills can yield dramatic results. Spend your points wisely. They are shared amongst the entire party. Okay, so everyone shares this. And they can only be upgraded once, I see. Uh, mastery trainer is where you can upgrade these. Okay, so we have five points. Let's see. Let's just upgrade the stuff we want to use. Um, kick to the face. This does four to ten damage. This has 30 crit. Crit seems pretty fun because it's just it's it's pog. You just go. <laughs> it 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 feels good when you crit. Let's see. Uh, six blight. I think the blight here is just gonna be like my main attack on this character. You know what? And then heal as well. Self remove. Oh, you can't. You cannot target yourself with this. It's a self remove, but target HP. I don't know what that means uh let's upgrade this i i know i'm gonna be using that a lot i love blight i'm a big blight boy and then i'm gonna upgrade my heal heal is always just what is this ounce of prevention uh heal just seems like invaluable it doesn't really improve that much let's just do it though i know heals are gonna be important uh if my previous experience with the first game is anything to go by we're gonna upgrade your basic melee skill let's upgrade an attack skill from the other two as well uh we have the gun which does Four to eight, this to six to nine, and crit 20. It's just so much better. I mean, it only hits the front line, right? So that can be, you know what, actually? Because usually the annoying enemies are in the back. Let's upgrade the, the shot so it's more on par with the melee attack. And then for you, 
Throne Dagger just gives you much more... It gives you much more flexibility. And it ignores tankiness as well, I'm assuming that is. Um, let's just... Let's just do the... Let's just do the melee skill. This seems to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, there we go. And we'll continue. Or do we do some... The Wayne Wright. What is this? The next stop is leagues away. Plan oh, this is what we just unlocked. Oh, cool. Wait, we can use the items that we just unlocked with the candles? Okay. We get a... Any advantage is a good thing. We have the surgi surgical table thingy. And then we have also... We also have this, which I should really apply. Uh, let's click on... What is this? Remove stun and add... Uh, dodge. I'm gonna put that on you since you're probably... Oh. Oh, there's just trinkets. Oh, combat items here. Yeah, okay. Since you're gonna be doing a lot of the crowd control or like for us for our party at least uh the provisioner conventional fair but fairly oh priced there's so much shit here uh we have what is this thing the radiant flame a helping hand for when all seems lost oh it, what <laughs> plus 33 percent traveling heal plus two speed Minus 25% traveling flame drain, but you gain less permanent rewards. Interesting. So it's like a, what? But it, I don't, it doesn't cost anything. It's like easy mode. <laughs> do I click this? I don't know. I don't want to do easy mode, but it also is just free. Traveling heal plus two speed, minus 25% traveling flame drain. Uh, and two speed all across the board. Let's just, I guess, do it for the first round. We'll see it. It's free. And we'll see if there's anything. And if it gives us less... 15% less candles is nothing. Uh, and then we'll figure it out as we go. Um, we got stage... Oh my god. We have baubles and we have relics. Okay, so there's two different currencies. We have trinkets and stuff you buy with baubles. And combat items or in items you bind with relics. I see. Okay. Um, so we would like to buy some stuff that gives us more friendship, maybe. Alrighty, we're back. Sorry, took a little break there. Got a coffee, drank it, had a great chill. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we just bought the torch. I don't know if that matters. Let me know in the comments. I may be playing on baby mode, but it's my first time. So <laughs> anyway, uh, what do we need? We have 50 money. Whiskey, two targets get positive friendship, I'm assuming, based on the other one. Wasn't that the same item, though? Wasn't that also a whiskey? That one had, like, two two options. Um, that sounds good. Friendship. For each location, chance to produce flapjacks. Everybody likes flapjacks. <laughs> okay, well, I can't purchase that anyway. Um, we have stitching kit, 24 20% heal. Okay, so lots of heal. Is there any stress heal? Yeah, here we go. Combat items remove stress if there's anything i know about darkest dungeon it's that stress is always a looming threat so i'm just gonna buy two of those and we have heal and remove blight heal and remove burn um remove just blindness seems a little too much add blindness to enemies flame interesting uh i just took the whiskey to whiskey get some friendship up comfort on the road to damnation can we buy anything with this? We have 15% disease resist, but it's also... Usually, trinkets in this game also have downsides. It's 15% damage, but minus speed. So, you, you go later, but you do more damage. That doesn't seem too bad. That seems pretty good, actually. Like, ultimately, the turn... Where you happen in the turn doesn't really matter, because you're going to go before... Like, once the first turn is over, it doesn't really matter anymore what the turn counter is. So, then it's just basically free 20... 15% damage, but it's not that much, right? You know what? Just get it. Just get it. Don't think about it. Get that damage up. Uh, we're gonna go... Any heal stuff. What's this, by the way? 10% max HP until next in and add a disease or a quirk. I don't like that. Um, <clears throat> oh, these are in items. I see. We don't need to heal at all. Uh, these are all not very good. We could just save our money and go to the next time. I'm gonna buy just one of these since they're super cheap. And it sounds like something you might want to have. Um, and then we'll do a smoke bomb as well. There you go. We got a bunch of stuff. Uh, anyway. 
Uh, let's have some people drink some whiskey. So, uh, Dismas is kind of hated by everyone. Who has, like, positive quirks? Do you got any positive... Minus positive relationship chance? Why does everyone hate each other here? Can we please be nice to each other? Uh, you're a clotter. Terrified combat start versus fanatic. You have a chance to give yourself horror. That sucks. All right. Um, I'm gonna go healer and tank. You guys wanna... You guys want to have a great time together. Or maybe dam- Oh, God. Maybe damage dealers. You know what? Damage dealers. Go, go hang out. Plus one relationship. Do it again. Drink more whiskey. There we go. 11. I don't want to damage dealers to hate each other. That would be a worst case scenario. Okay, now, this thing- uh, So, what is that thing? Sorry. I'm uh, sorry for reading all this stuff. I just need to learn. This is immobilize. Okay. So, you apply immobilize to people. Which seems useless and you gain stun when missed so this is all just bullshit <laughs> can i sell stuff can i sell you my item uh shift click to this discard okay i don't think i can sell him this huh? no. okay anyway just, just have to test that out um then we're gonna put the damage on you although you're pretty fast you're five you're five good on you we seem to be dealing a lot of damage. Okay, good stuff. We got, uh, maybe we'll discard this later, but we don't really need right now. I'm assuming there's like a mat. Yeah, there's a max amount of inventory slots. Let's go. Select route. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. What the hoarder is a second. Okay, so we have two areas. We have the sprawl and the tangle. We have haze. 300, no scouting at all. We have untouched. Minus flame drain, so that's a positive thing. What? And then we have avoid the hoarder, fight six or less road battles. You know what? I'm just gonna go for this. Anti-commerce, Tomer, sorry. Seems not Another too bad. Inferno of mutilation and madness. So let's rest for the night and move on. I'm just figuring out what we're doing here. We got regions, cho what is this? Oh, regions choice is just choosing the region. Regions have a goal. The condition tells you what special game effects are in place. The goal gives you an optional accomplishment to aim for. If you successfully complete the goal, then you will be given the reward shown once you receive the next, the, or get to the next thing. We got this again. I'm just gonna get rid of these exclamation marks. Okay, embark. That's cool looking, man. <laughs> the art style is never wavering. The sprawl. That's just one giant city. It's like a ruined city. The working field. Why does this pop up right now? Here is where you unlock. No. Behold. I don't know why that popped up. The great. What is going on? Route choices. There we go. We're, forks in the road will give you two or three potential destinations, as shown by the icons above the above the road. If the way ahead is scouted, those icons will be revealed. Okay. I see. Oh boy. Stop. 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 Academic Ooh. layer. I can't. Can I pause? Can I pause? Flame. Okay. What do we got right here? Uh, rewards. Unique trinket, stress heal. That seems good. Then we have reward scout. Someone wanted to go to a watchtower. Didn't you want to go to a watchtower? You had like some gold to go to a watchtower, I think. Something like that. Yeah, here. Scout a region with a watchtower. Does anyone else have a visit a field hospital, visit a hero shrine? Well, let's just go to the watchtower. Also, early on scouting sounds good. Let's do that. Go there. I like that it pauses you there and doesn't like force you to make a quick decision. That'd be real annoying. Oh, we're immediately going into a battle. You probably looked at the map though, but <laughs> what I was getting myself into here. Uh, that's a giant cannon. Holy shit. You take massive. Get juked. You take massive less damage as well. Oh boy. Uh, but what if we poison? You got 200 blight resist. All right, that's not happening. <laughs> we'll go for pick to the face. Just get rid. I'm assuming because this consumes, right? We're gonna have to hit you. Well 17 crit through the damage. Oh, because it ignores that, doesn't it? It ignores armor, dude. I'm insane accidentally. Um, we're gonna go for noxious blast on this little dude, though. He can be blighted. Dude, that's an insane... How much health do you have? You have 15 health. You're going to take... Just smack him. Ah, that was the lowest possible roll you could have gotten. 
I'm gonna hit him as well. Now he should die. Is he blight death storm resist? He might have some death storm resist. Load shot. Whoopsie daisy. Should have probably shot him. Probably focused this guy down. That crit was pretty lucky. You have no death storm resist. Alright, let's start getting. Just get rid of this. What is this, by the way? What is that symbol? Uh, repost. Counter attacks to next damage. Okay, cool. Um, we could do that. Then we're stuck in the front where I can't use my shot, which doesn't seem too bad. And then here we add crit and dodge and we remove blindness, but we already have dodge. Um, I'm just going to shoot you. Actually, because you already died. So I'm just going to shoot you. Two damage. Great. Fantastic. Um... Just, I mean, hit him. There's literally nothing. We were just getting rid of these tokens. And then you go through it for five damage, which isn't too great, but at least we're Let doing something. He's dead. This quickly. And then you don't have a stun or something, right? Target, knockback, and daze. But that... Oh, I can't even... No, I can't do that. I could block someone. He's probably going to do a big shot, but we all got damage... We all got, like, uh, this 50% less damage, right? So whatever it is, it's gonna be misfire. <laughs> dude, what a flawless, flawless victory here. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Didn't take a single hit. This is not gonna be... This is, this is just a small little taste of Darkest the Dungeon. In the, extreme. the pogs are gonna this go down real soon. Not necessary. Okay. Anchoring charm. You don't move, you don't stun, but you have less death door resist. Early on, that seems, like, amazing. Because, especially, who doesn't... Who do I really not want to move? You, maybe? Can you use any of your skills? You can only use your skills in the back. So I'm gonna give you this, because you're not being a hit anyway. And then you're not gonna move. Do I have to equip this at all? Or is this just like, what is this? I guess it's just, seems like you should take that. Or maybe it's one of those like, you don't take it if you're a true gamer. Did you take the flame in Darkest Dungeon 2? What are you, a baby? Watchtower, here we go. Scouting time. Oh, all the icons are getting revealed. Let's go, huge. And then we can make sure to or uh, complete our other hero quests. What's this? A rough patch, which is gonna minus our wheels, which the wheel- Oh, I'm already on that path anyway, so I can't avoid it. Ripperoni. What does this do? It gives more healing. Well, we're gonna have to deal with that. Ah! Okay. Probably gonna be real bad if I lose all my wheel, huh? I really wanna avoid losing the armor them, thing. And so they must- Okay. I love how it's giving me like a hundred tutorials right now. And yeah, affinity system. They're gonna like hate each other or love each other depending on their relationships. Rough routes, which is I just lost armor or I just lost my wheels. Watchtower, we scout. Other locations, check. All right, burning pile. Cue uh, me in five minutes not understanding a mechanic because I skipped the tutorial instantly and YouTube comments being mad at me. <laughs> anyway, what is going on here? It's a certain death. Marvelous. I've been practicing my aim. She wants to fight. Let us leave them a distraction. We can spare it. This is minus something, and we leave. This is minus flame and plus stress, and we leave. This is just a fight. But everyone hates that. And I might hate that, because these guys look dangerous as hell. But then at the same time... You know what? It's early on. Oh, but he hates fanatics, too. Let's just fight. No, I'm, I'm feeling it. Minus two relationships, whatever. Let's just see it. Resistance encounter. Oh, they're, they're not looking as spooky as they looked on the preview screen. Firefly. Oh boy, we're gonna get burned. We resisted the burn. Yeah, who looks scary? You look scary because you got all kind of weird contraption going on. You look pretty scary with this fist, but it just looks like it's gonna be damage. A whipper. You have very little. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, but you dodge. Do I have... Does this also go through dodge? This does not go through dodge. This ignores dodge when self... Dude. When self is character. What is that? Stealth cannot be directly targeted by most enemy skills. Okay. We have to get stealth somehow then. Let's just hit him. 
and then we'll miss. <laughs> or not, dude. Didn't he have like a 75% chance to dodge? Instead, I critted insta kill them. Okay, dude. Let's go. <laughs> dude, I love this game. That's why, dude. Because the game is so hard, well, as of right now, it doesn't look very hard, but trust me, it's going to get harder. Those kind of moments are what you live for. Uh, anyway, resistance encounter. What's this, by the way? Each. Each region is overwhelmed with local evil. Resistance encounters are battles with these monsters. Winning resistance encounters is the primary way in which you can gain mastery and earn treasures that will make the heroes more powerful. It also reduces loathing. Battling evil is not without risk, but if you avoid all resistance encounters, you will find your party ill-prepared to tackle the mountain. I see. Okay. I'm going to go for you now because you look spooky. That was amazing. What a crit, dude. Uh, we're going to go Noxious Blast. This little dude is pathetic i'm scared of these like special guys six blight man that's insane in we dodge this is going far too well you don't have death store resist so you're literally already dead oh why my woo? uh we're gonna just, we're gonna dagger you six damage let's go i think next before you attack again you're gonna miss me dang it i'm gonna Death blow you, dude. This is going flawlessly. Absolute insanity. You're gonna die. You're gonna kill him with an insane crit. Oh, you literally just hit him and he's dead. <laughs> dude, you're crazy, man. Woo! <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go. Cleanse, that was. Did I even take a hit? I took like one hit there. Cleansing sensor. We get disease resist, movement resist, but less stun resist. Distant trinket. You get resistance piercing on flame, but we don't have any flame. So this is just useless, but I'm taking all anyway. Let's put that one trinket on, because it seemed like a pretty good trinket. Hero quest complete. Let's go. Okay, this thing seemed pretty all right. Less stun resist, but movement resist. Maybe I'll just throw that on. I'll throw it on you as well. I really don't want you to be any. You got 65% disease resist. And he's got massive movement resist. Oh, wait, that's not this. What is this? Oh, it's debuff resist. Oh, that's pretty damn good. You know what? I'm throwing that on you. Less stun resist, but more debuff resist. I'm, I'm gonna see if that. Wait, wait. Oh, I need to equip my. Items, by the way. Almost forgot to equip my combat items. You're gonna get the stress thing. You're gonna... You Who moves fast? You move really fast. So if I see some dangerous attack, I can smoke bomb that. And then you are just gonna do the light in case we need that. Cool, cool. Okay, where do we want to go? We don't want to go down to hammer path if we can avoid it. But that's a hero shrine. Let's see. Um... Do we have a chance later on to do a hero shrine? We can do two hero shrines if we take this one armor hit. Oh, but we want to avoid the hoarder, and then we have to take two armor hits. So I really... We, we'll go past the hoarder, or we'll go down to zero armor. Which... I'd rather not... Because this is like, to double armor, I have to go through the hoarder. Or I literally, literally either lose or go... I don't know what happens when you get zero armor, but... I'll just hit the hoarder. I, there's not really a way I can avoid that. I really want to see what a hero shrine is all about. That sounds cool. I'll take one damage to go down the hero shrine path. And that also makes someone happy. Let's do that. Vermin hide by the roadside. Waiting in ambush for unwary travelers. Wait, I hope you can see. Yeah, I think you can. But what the fuck just happened? I was not looking at the screen. Did I just... Oh, it was the armor thingy i'm hoping it was yeah it was a place of research and inquiry a could i have avoided that maybe i could have dodged that career. i was just not paying attention uh driving on a hazard will damage one point of armor on the stagecoach okay if the stagecoach has no armor to the duck then the party will be ambushed and an urgent repair battle will ensue okay i see we have they like this See, we get either trinket or we get knowledge. I think we'll do this. I like this, but I don't know what the book is, but I want it. They like each other. Let's go. An unexpected find. Oh, just relics. Okay, that's fine. 
can purchase good stuff with that. And we complete... Oh, that was an academic study. That was not a hero goal. Wait, avoid this? What's that? No, that did not do damage to me. I don't think there is any point to these items on the road. I'm just... Oh, God. Loathing. Loathing! Evil is overtaking the world, as shown by the loathing meter. Higher loathing results in tougher conditions for the party. Okay. The loathing Unloathing. Flame drain, enemy advantage. I see. Okay, we would love to get rid of that as well. The resistance counter got rid of the loathing, but we didn't have any at the time. I'm just gonna hit it all. It doesn't seem to be a negative the to it. Fanatics feed themselves to the fire. Their flesh melting like candle wax. Shrine of reflection. Oh boy, uh, what is this? Shrine. Shrines of Reflections are where each hero can revisit their memories. By confronting their past, they unlock new skills. At each shrine, choosing a single hero to advance their, choose a single hero to advance their story. If the story is completed successfully, the new skills unlock. These unlocks are permanent. Whenever you use this hero in future expeditions, they will have these unlocked skills. Okay. Um. I kind of... This guy has been doing great work for us. You know what? Man-at-arms? Or Dismas. Dismas is just cool. Let's just do Dismas first. <laughs> He's always cool. I love that guy. Read him. Highwayman. Chapter 1. Like I'm listening to an audiobook right now? Freedom. <laughs> oh boy. What's going on here? This is cool. Excuse me. Defeat the guards and escape. A fleeting chance to escape incarceration. Okay, this is my chance. I've got to get out. We have different attacks. We have lunging cuff, which moves forward three. You get an armor and you get combo on the thing. And we have self dodge and target to remove, like horn. Are they gonna? Are they gonna call reinforcements? Um, I guess I'll do this. I'll just hit the front guy. Boom, get smacked in the face. Get comboed. Oh, inhale. Oh no, he's got an alarm. Ready to sound an unavoidable alarm. Uh-oh. Um, how do I hit him? I can't hit him. He's all the way at the back. Uh, knee strike. 100% damage when target is comboed. I'll kill you. Absolutely wrecked. Okay, but he's got an alarm though. Can you... How do I... Do I just gotta move back slowly? Oh, no, they pushed me back. I see. Wait, can I now hit him? Probably still not. Oh, this is only in the last. Then I don't want to move forward. Is he going to move next? He is going to move next, so I can't even stop him. Oh, if I can't stop him, I might as well just attack. I don't know if that was a good idea. Maybe I'm going to fail. Uh -oh, sound the alarm. I've got to hurry before they re reinforce. It gave me three stress. That's all? That's not too bad. I'll kill this guy. Wait, I didn't kill him. He has one HP, you piece of shit. And he's gonna fucking sound the alarm! And he goes to the back! God damn it! Oh, and you dodge so you don't get pushed backwards. This is a disaster. I have to move backwards. When is he moving? Okay, I can move backwards twice, but then he's gonna... I can move backwards once. That's the thing, by the way. He can move, that's a choice. And then please push me backwards! Please, no! Oh, God. I can't hit him. I can't do it. Um, what an annoying... I mean, I'm still, I still have a lot of stress. Knee strike. This doesn't move me forward. Let's just knee strike him. Three damage. Okay, maybe that is not very useful. Okay, now I get pushed backwards, but that is completely useless for me. Unlucky. Dude, that guy should have died. That's, that's bullshit. Okay, I don't want to... What if I just fucking... I gotta kill this guy. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Who's gonna move next? You're probably gonna sound the alarm then. You're probably gonna sound the alarm. I'm just gonna rush you then, but then I can... Let's just kill him. Okay. There you go. You're done. He's gonna inhale. Yeah, you piece of shit. Uh, can I... I can't hit that, right? Well, I can lunge and cuff him. And then he's comboed, and then I knee strike him, or does that not hit the front? You are dodging too much. You're too good at this. Uh, he is... Oh, I get two moves here. How much damage? Three to six. This gotta work, right? Yes, okay. Let's kill him. This is not the best use of my... 
combo thingies, but I'm just doing it because I want you gone. Nice. Okay. And then we just kill you. You're, you're pathetic. What are you going to do, idiot? That's Mac. He's going to inhale. Dummy. You're going to get smacked. Smacked a lot. I move uh, only once, but uh, this is my lowest damage. Let's go. Nice. It's cool. So you have like little memory encounters. <laughs> That's interesting. He would be a fugitive, Wonder what happens if you lose that. A hunted man, but a free one nonetheless. We get a mastery, and we gained a point blank shot. Damage six to twelve, and you move backwards, but you can only use this in the front and only shoot at the front. Okay. That's amazing. That's actually really good. Can I? Uh, wait, you can have, okay, you can have five skills. Um, this is not, I don't have this skill. Can I take, okay, I can take skills out. Let's see, what am I not using? I'm not using these, like, buff skills. Tracking shot, target, you get a combo, and you remove dodge and stealth. Um, hmm. This gives you a bunch of buffs and removes blindness. We haven't had to deal with stealth at all. I think I'm gonna re get rid of tracking shot and put this on. I don't see myself using tracking shot a lot. I'd rather just shoot people. Uh, that was cool. Hero shrine. I think I'm gonna go to the hero shrine again. Let's see, how do I see the map? Um, yeah, I don't want to go over the rough road anyway. Go to the hero, because otherwise we have to do this, right? We have to do both of these. Yeah, so we gotta go hero shrine, and that's cool, because then we get another one. Can we do dismiss immediately again. I also need to, I should have gone to the hospital, but I can't really. What is the smart smudge flurry? Hey, we but gained something there. The past, we learned Wait. to face the future. How did I get this? I got two bandages. That seems amazing. Okay, cool. Uh, Shrine of Reflection. Let's go. Get rid of this stress thing, by the way. I know. Stress is bad. In addition to HP, heroes also have stress. Heroes begin the expedition at zero stress, but gain stress through a wide variety of game events. Stress can also be lower, lowered in a variety of ways. Combat items, in items, hero skills, and more. Okay, let's see. What do we do? Oh, yeah, now we get to choose again. Okay, so we could do Dismas again. That would be interesting. But I'd say we... Let's do the highway. Or the... the Man at Arms. A premature Arms. promotion. Chapter 1. A premature promotion. Okay. Let's go. So they have five chapters total. It seems five different skills they can unlock. The politics of a military career are perhaps as treacherous as war itself. Though untested in combat, his acumen for advancement was unmatched. Through a dubious campaign of influence and intimidation, <laughs> he had at last claimed a coveted command and was eager to bask in the glory of the victories that were sure to come. But they didn't come. Uh, excuse me? Resolved? Acceptance is a journey. Uh, that was just nothing? I just gained it immediately? So some of them ha are immediate conclusions, they're just stories, and some of them you have to fight. What's this? Target, remove repost and minus speed on every single one of them and he can use it anywhere uh interesting it was actually not that bad especially if you have lots of repost enemies even the speed down seems okay is there any the like shitty skill he has the loathing dissipates did the loathing dissipate i feel like it's still pretty high um yeah let's see uh what skills do you got you got move somewhere backwards and daze them that seems pretty good this blocks, that seems amazing. This is stress heal, which are super useful. And then this one is just hold the line. You damage and you move forward. So if you, in case you're, you've gotten brought all the way to the back, you can use this to set yourself back forward. I don't think I'm going to be using that much because I don't see this guy going very far to the back. So let's just do this instead. Maybe we'll use it at some point. Who knows? An elementary oh. problem. We have to go to the hoarder, though. Sadly, even though we want to avoid it for our mission, otherwise we're taking... This is just an unfortunate spot. Let's just go to the hoarder, even though we so fail our mission. The inconvenient. At least we know what's coming. That's fine. It's it's too masterful. Maybe I should have taken the fight. It's... 
It's okay. We're gonna live and learn. I just didn't want to lose all my armor and then do like a special encounter. Get juked. You are the priority number one. You look very scary. You got some kind of music box thingy going on. I do not appreciate that. You only got 11 health too. Uh, actually, you're gonna attack. Let's do you first. Because you have still are gonna attack this turn. And I hit both of them. For very little, but I did it. And then you get noxious blasted. Get death load. Dude, this is crazy. How does he have this? Oh, combat start. He gets two super dodge. That's amazing. I do get smacked. No crit this time, but still fine. He's going to be attacking first, though, isn't he? No, he doesn't. Then he dies. Let's go. I don't know what you're going to do with all those attacks, but I'm glad I'm not going to find out. And then this is this game is the easiest game of all time. What happened? Oh, you didn't. You resisted me. Don't give me horror. You suck. Nice die. Boom. Only three stress. So they only have ten stress. But every time I get hit An once, it goes up. Find. It's not like there's a hundred stress and you can hit be hit for very tiny amounts. You're always hit for quite a bit. Nice. So this, we need to avoid this getting any higher. Did I get the bandage from hitting these? I should really be using that combat item for the, yeah, there's the hoarder. And I, I can't avoid talking to him. Could I just like avoid him now? Whatever. Okay. Uh, now at least we got to use this. Avoid him. What is this? Playing cards in party. 75% positive relationship 25% negative relationship seems pretty damn good i'm taking that and we have impermeable poultice which is light resist and we have whiskey bottle which there's two different whiskey bottles one that doesn't have a downside and one that does it's still a massive it's still also stress relief i'm gonna do that even though last time we got unlucky and then we could just get more i'm just gonna purchase all of this I don't care. I want it. Uh, we already got some bandages. What is this? Greater heal draught. Inedible trinket. Indelible trinket, sorry. Uh, that's amazing, but we can't purchase it. It's super expensive. It's cool. So these are like super high level trinkets with no downsides. Uh, we can't really purchase anything except this. Oh, they're like upgraded versions of this one. So this one is downside. Yeah. Plus 10 max HP, minus 3 crit. And this one's just... When he max with no downside. I see. Um, I think... Uh, what's this? You get re uh, disease resist? That's pretty alright. Let's just go. I think we got what we need right now. Oh, how do I get out of here? Uh, I would, oh, here. Click the button. Need to equip anything? Uh, you guys all have combat items, right? Everyone has a combat item. Only one is a stress combat item. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this and put on the stress thingy. We're well, gonna have four. Oh my god, look at that. I see. I thought it was a. You can carry four at once. Let's go. That's amazing. Uh, and then the whiskey is during the inn. And then any heal. Let's just. Let's go. Seems good. Looks like we're in a pretty good spot right now. The loathing is, is spooking. But they're being rude to each other. What else is new? Oh, counter. Let's go. Just, just, just two guys. You got to bring a bigger army, man. You don't stand a chance against me. I want to try a point blank shot. But I'm not in the right spot for that. Since you're so fast, you know what? I could put you in the first spot and then point black shot right at the start of the mission. I think that's a pretty good idea. Do that next time. Should have probably used the other thing anyway. Oh god. Oh bleed. That's not nice. Uh, battlefield medicine. I bleed. No downside. At least has been tended to. That smack. You're the other guy, right? That's fine. Let's just smack them all. Death blow. Early results. Are Dodge. Nice. 
And then before he attacks, he's down. No, not before he attacks. Oh, baby! Yes! <laughs> oh, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> dude, I don't know if I've been super lucky with these crits or if they just, like, happen more often than in the first in game, but... World, holy shit. Is worthless without purpose. Oh, it's way too hot, by the way. I don't know. I... Summer is coming and my loathing is going up, man. I'm not a big fan. It's like crazy. What's that? What temperature is it? What the hell is this thing? 25 degrees in this room. Way too hot. Oblivion's Rampart. That seems scary. Cultists. Cultists emanate from the great evil at the mountain. They appear at Oblivion's Ingress and Oblivion's Rampart locations. The last location before an inn is always an Oblivion's Rampart. I see. Cultists are always a tough fight, but the rewards are equally valuable. Plus, defeating them reduces loathing. Okay. Uh-oh. This is, this is gonna be a spooky time. Oh boy, those are some creepy looking enemies. That back line looks very spooky. <laughs> I'm, this thing in particular, the smaller it is, the scarier they are. You are a herald. You're probably a healer, if based on that name, and you're an altar. Yeah, don't thank you. I would not like the altar to do anything, so I'm just gonna shoot you. Critical even. Okay, I can't noxious blast you, but I can blinding gas ya. If you're gonna attack me. And you get comboed. You know what? Actually using this is amazing to get rid of this though. Because it still hits the blight. What are you gonna do? Altar of denial. Gives everyone a buff. Oh god, what bone weaving? What are you doing? You gain block. You get bleed bladed or gain stealth potentially? Uh-oh. That's really bad. You know what I'm gonna use this on you? Reduce your stress a little bit, and then just hit the both. This does very little damage. Two to three. This ignores Stealth when sell or no, it ignores dodge. Um, I'm just gonna hit this guy, just focus fire the one that already has that much damage. Uh oh, two stress up that's not very good. Smack him. Do they have death store resist? They look like enemies that would. What is this? Oh, they you gain stealth? Oh god, what is this? Pyromaniac must spend their entire turn using the fire bomb skill. You have a fire bomb skill? Uh, that doesn't sound too bad. <laughs> Whatever it is. Okay. You have no death door resist and you got zero. Zero death door resist. And you're taking six damage, so you're gonna die. You suck. I can't target you. I'm gonna get rid of this thing now, hopefully. Uh, remove repost minus speed. I'm gonna use probably at the inn. I get plus light. I don't need to do that. Oh, I can smack you. Nice. Okay. Results are encouraging. Noxious blast. This guy I can't target you. Fuck. Uh, I don't need to hit you. Just first of all, we do the minus stress just because we can. Ounce of prevention. Minus one of those. Fire bomb skill. Targets gets five bomb for three to six damage. That's insane. Why is it? it is a downside? That's not a downside. That's amazing. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna fire bomb you then. Do you have dissection? Incredible. And oh god. A crit though. But he resisted the bleed. Everyone's getting a little stress now, and you're dodging everything, dude. Dismas is crazy. Hey, Death Star, you had zero Death Star resist. What the fucking scammed? What do you mean? How did he avoid Death Star? I don't understand. I genuinely have no idea how you got Death Star there, but whatever, I guess. Uh, I would like to shoot you. You're gonna die very soon here. You need to be noxious blasted for a crit. Is that gonna increase up there? five turns? Just blast him. Just slowly but surely get rid- I'm assuming you're dead! Like... 
Oh no, you're buffing yourself for a big crit. We're almost dead. Marion Cole, that is not great, but oh boy, you're getting very stressed. We got in items coming up. You would uh, ignore that. Amazing. There we go, you're dead. An invariable result. Okay, you should be. Oh, dude, almost. No. Only nine damage for a crit? That I was expecting way worse there. Okay, Death's Door, and then it, it seems like even though they don't have Death Door resistance, they still get Death Door because they're just they're just big enemies. They're just they're just big boys. I'm gonna do one of this, and then I'm gonna blinding gas you. So you have fifty percent chance to miss. Uh, how do I get rid of all these corpses? Knock back. I guess I'll just smack you, maybe, or let's do minus stress on you. Oh, it minus stress on yourself. Oh, I thought it did minus stress on the character you were targeting. Whoops. Uh, since you're dead anyway, I might as well you minus stress. And then, is there any positive skill we can use? I just use this because I don't care, and then maybe I'll get a. Yes. Oh, well, I guess we'll do it again. You're literally just dead, so I kind of want to... I mean, maybe we'll get minus stress from killing you, but I'd rather want to use some skills on the characters. Here. You use this, for example. <clears throat> maybe some minus stress on that. Probably not. Nope. All right, and then I'll do this. Look at Slice. A lesson taught nice. is a lesson learned. Good shit. What's this? Dark Impulse. Unforgettable trinket. Stained. Unlocks the potential of cultist trinkets. Plus 15 br 50 br light resist. Burn start if blight you gain stress though. Okay. So it's like um, you want to avoid being blighted because if you get it then you get stressed. Healing received plus. But m movement resist down. Um, okay. Cool stuff. Good stuff. And that was the end, right? They said that was right before the, the end. Whispers. And the loading goes down. Those are pretty solid. Uh, Invisit. I don't know how many more of these there are. I don't know how this game works. I don't know how long it is. Like, <laughs> I'm assuming we're going to get absolutely destroyed at some point. <laughs> Especially with like permanent unlocks. That means that when you start the game, you're going to be really weak. Familiar heart. And an achievement called Rush Hour. Once again. Yes, we gain quirks. Paracelsus gained a quirk. Braggart gain on hit. Uh, scream. What is that? Oh, God. Uh, you, I didn't want to do that. Uh, taunt. Enemies are forced to attack this if able. And then you gained also a negative. Light sensitive. If flame greater... Then 75, combat starts with two weakness. Damn it. And then you gain something positive. Amateur weaponsmith. 5% chance to gain a guaranteed uh, crit. That's okay. One in every 20 turns, he's going to do that. Uh, okay. First of all, I would like to repair. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened. Oh, I need steel. to equip this. Oh, no. I need to equip it right there. Unremovable. Once equipped, this cannot be removed during the expedition. Why are they? Spend what you can. For wealth no longer. Why are they making this seem so negative? <laughs> Indeed, it ever did. I guess I don't equip it. You're making me scared of this thing. <laughs> anyway, because uh, it seems too good to be true, honestly. Uh, what else do we got? This is di everything is discounted. The Miller's bounty minus fifty percent combat items. Minus fifty percent. What the hell? This is huge. Okay, I can buy many, many whiskey flasks. Uh, this is awesome. There's too many options here. Uh, I would. I think relationships are gonna be real important because when your characters start hitting each other, you're in in a world of hurt. We also have. Okay, first of all, let's get some whiskeys. This is crazy. I'm going to be able to purchase so much. Uh, this is for the whole party, but this is just always up. This is potential up. Let's get Something that too, to though. The rigors of the road. Buy like four of this. Four of that, then we'll buy two more. Okay, then we have 18 more to spend, which I'll spend on um, more friend items, honestly. This, A bit of comfort. this... On the road to this. damnation. And then one more of this. Sure. 
Okay. And then we use all of this stuff. So now, first of all, what's this? How do I use this? Oh, the whole party. Oh, no, no. Uh, that was like four down, two up. It's 25% chance for negative, 75 for positive. I got four, um, four down six or four down two up i'm the most unlucky son of a bitch to ever play this video game excuse me oh there we that was still like two on three or two on two to four what the it's okay uh anyway that seemed more like a 50 in total i had six up six down even though it was 75 up i hate playing cards <laughs> okay here we go again oh my god i'm gonna lose my mind okay Okay, that was a little better. That was only one down. Oh, no. Because sometimes you get two up, though. Okay, uh, that, th those two were way better. Anyway, uh, so they... Does it, like, happen once they get to their max relationship? So you are 13 with Dismas. Sure, let's just farm the heck out of that relationship. Because if our damage dealers like each other, that's going to be really important. Plus one. Can I just keep spamming this? Can I just make them drunk out of their mind? <laughs> well, I guess here we go. Oh, what? There we go. Boom. And we have one more. You're drinking a... I hope... It doesn't seem like it has any negative consequence. <laughs> here we go. And then we have this one, which also gives minus stress. I'll do that on you guys. Plus six! Holy fuck. Fuck, what was that? Dude, they are maxed out. Let's go. I don't know. I got this. Okay. Everything is fine again. I got unlucky a bunch and then I got insanely lucky once. I'll take it. Uh, okay. I need to equip some combat items. You need two more. Uh, you have nothing anymore. I'm going to give you this. You have the light item. I'll give you... you know I'll give you this. The light item will be... I don't know. We'll see when we use that. Okay. Cool. And then... Anything left I can do? I have some trinkets to give. Blight resist? Seems pretty okay. 50% blight resist? That gives me 80% blight resist. I'll take it. You are basically never going to get blighted. And then we have another one, which is piercing for burn, which seems kind of useless. If speed less than two, does any does she have speed less than two? She does. If we unless we take this off, I'm not gonna do that then. Uh, and then you get more healing received, but you have less movement resist. I'll do this. Let's do this, and then move. Can I move these guys? I want to change the order. I want to put Dismas at the front just as a, like a quick. A quick thought experiment. We got mastery. five mastery points. Holy shit. And we didn't even do the side mission there. Okay, what are we using the most? Definitely wicked slices or a blank. Point blank shot. 10 to 13 damage with 15 crit. That is insane. I'm taking that right away. Okay, everyone's getting an upgrade. You're getting throwing dagger upgrade. Yes. Maybe the group hit. Three to five. That could have been good too. Wait, I can reset? Actually... So this is four to seven. This is three to five on two targets, though. And this is just one target. I'm doing the AOE. Maybe it's greedy. Maybe it's Maybelline. Um, and then we do the point blank shot again. That seems really, really good. Dude, imagine I hit myself with a crit for like a guaranteed crit, and then we do this. They're gonna go insano mode. Uh, we can increase that, but we're already kind of. We're, we are not gonna be able to use all of the damaging attacks, so we gotta make a choice. Uh, what else? Maybe the skill thing? Minus two stress on self. Target stress plus five. My, this is huge. I want to... This seems to be the only skill that can remove stress, so I'm going to upgrade that. This is, like, hugely minus. This is a big... Uh, Defender also seems really good. I'm just going to... A little bit too much on one character, maybe, but... And then Wicked Slice can be upgraded, too. 
Dude, there's so many options. Maybe the blight target doubling the blight seems insane. Okay, well, that was a lot of upgrades. Holy fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Um, nice. And then we move on, right? We have nothing. Let's go. Consider your position and tangle accordingly. Blood hope plus candle of hope chance at resistance encounter. We get a huge, we get many more candles. Fight six or less road battles. Okay, we want to avoid many road battles. Sure, send me. Blood and rain, resignation and death. We're in a really, this really, really good spot. Barren. It's just something about oh, forming relationships. Here we go. They should be positive, right? Respectful. Tried and tested. Nice. A bond to be counted on. What does this do? Wicked slice. Oh, if I okay. Oh, this, so the skills forming relationships. Uh, yeah, you already told me this. Um. Okay, so this is the skill wicked slice. If I use it, odd, odd regains plus damage. If I use the flashing daggers, or, or Dismas gets dodge. Really cool. Hopeful. Aspiration unites the hopeful. Okay, if I use the melee attack, Paracelsus gets minus stress. And if I use the blight, these are like my most used attacks all across the board. This is amazing. Holy shit. Dude, I'm loving it here. This dungeon seems pretty bright. The tangle. Oh. Well, that's a lot of spikes. War. Rewards or never changes. Hospital. Wait, one of these fools wanted to go to a hospital. Um. Who? You already done. Field hospital. Land the killing blow on pillagers. You've done it one time. I don't think I'm gonna do hospital now because it seems like a complete waste. Since we're not hurt in the slightest, so let's just go through the middle to the question mark. We venture because I don't want to immediately forward. break my armor at the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. We're getting positive relationship out the wazoo. Did you see that? I don't know. Really know. I'm, I'm covering up the face of Paracelsus, but I think you can still see everything. Very nice. We still got the loathing, so the loathing doesn't go away. Oh, hero shrine, dude. Three hero shrines. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see. So we've done you, you. We could do you, or we could just go even further. Oh, I need to change the order as well. Let's go. Let's go Paracelsus. But later we're going to unlock more heroes, and then you don't want to have to, to be forced to use the same party on over and over again. So actually, let's let's just go for this guy. This guy seems insanely good with that, like, stress ability. That seems really important. A leader of men. We'll try it. We'll, we'll upgrade him a little more. Leader of men. Oh. Behold the conquering general. Marching his men to victory. Inspire. Okay, let's see. Inspire. Who's gonna attack? You're gonna attack next. Let's inspire you. Or inspire everyone. I don't have a choice, but I shuffle. What? Oh. <laughs> I see. We're a bad general. It did not do what it was supposed to do. Uh oh. Wait, am I just fucked now? This seems impossible. Oh, he's back. Oh, there's a reinforcement. Uh oh. Every man for himself. Hey, no, this, this, is, this is a weird encounter. Okay, I got more options this time. A setback. Hold the line. Okay, I go forward. Target forward and gains attack but i don't i can't trust this because it the last time it said something else and then it just lied to me um so i'm gonna do i'll send him back and he gains armor that's probably gonna send him forward and he's gonna get weak this will send him backwards and he's gonna get less armor let's let's make them weak yeah see you piece of shit <laughs> What the fuck is going on, dude? I don't understand. You're being dumb. <laughs> you suck as a general. <laughs> oh, dude, they're doing so much damage. Uh-oh. Is there going to be... Yeah, okay. There's endless reinforcements. I just need to figure out how to... 
give orders that make any sense. I, maybe it's just random. Oh my god. You're terrible at this. Okay. Do some hits. Uh, attack. I'm gonna send you... Can I do it on myself? I cannot do it on myself. I'm just gonna focus on this one guy. And then everyone else can just do what they want. They do no damage. Is this an impossible fight? This is confusing as hell. Dude, they're getting absolutely destroyed. I mean, they're against spears with sword. That would be a huge down side anyway. Okay, this is weird. They're doing an absolutely abysmal amount of damage. Not, uh, maybe I need to, like, properly... You're getting conflicting orders. Do you daze yourselves? I don't know. Self tense stress. Did I lose? A rout. Victory. A massacre. I see. A complete and total. <laughs> it was. It was command. scripted. <laughs> it was a scripted loss. Okay, yours for the taking. Begin a new skill. Stand fast. Cool down two. But just a cooldown. Self, you gain two block. Turn start block for three turns. So you just get massive blocks for a really long time. That seems very good. That was interesting. <laughs> I got very confused there, but that was the po that was the whole point. Um Okay, let's see. So that's pretty good. I think that's better than this. I think that's definitely better than that. Although Defender seems just like Defender just seems like better across the board because it gives super block and it also blocks someone else yeah but maybe combining those two could be good <laughs> sorry for the hiccups um i'm gonna try it and also let's try can i move these yes let's move this for a sec just test that out put it to the test nice they're getting positive relationships i'm loving it here When, when am I gonna, like, get hopelessly demoralized? <laughs> That's about to happen, right? I feel like I'm, my mor morale is a little too high right now. Yeah, see, so there is stuff that drops from these if you hit them. It's like slight min-maxing. It's really rare, but sometimes it does. Forgotten outpost. Uh, there's blood to spill. They all want to do it. There's no choice here. All right, I'll just do this guy. Make him more friendly. Or maybe you. Yeah, make you more friendly with both. That's a better option. Nice. Plus one, plus one. <clears throat> Fight. Let's go. Hail enemies. Uh-oh. Battle advantage. Dude, so much shit happened there. What the hell was that? Battle advantage. In some battles, the entire enemy party will benefit from a battle advantage. When present, you'll see the advantage icon on the top left of the screen. Oh, no. They have resist and they have debuff resist. Fuck. Low flame makes battle advantages more likely. My battle. I'm at 80. What is happening? So much shit. Oh god, he's being. He's, he got taunted. And you're gonna be real annoying. I need to avoid. Or I need to kill you. Ordainment? What's this? Ordainment. The closer you get to the mountain, the greater the chance that an enemy you encounter will be ordained. Ordainment gives the enemy extra power. The extra effects of an ordainment are different depending on which confession you are attempting. You are un ordained. An academic view. This enemy is blessed by shackles of denial. On spawn, plus 20, you could just get a bunch of resistance, more health, more damage, and more speed. Seems a little unfortunate. Point blank shot him, though. Maybe it'll... Seven through the shield, and he gets comboed. Self heal when the target is comboed. That doesn't seem too good. Um, you know what? Let's go defender mode. Let's go defender mode on you, because you already have dodge. Well, he's taunted anyway. What do you have? Preparing to use a special skill. That seems bad. I kind of just want to get rid of this guy. That was really a waste of the combo, but whatever. Okay. Noxious Blast. I mean, I want to get rid of this ordained enemy ASAP. Resisted the Blight. 
Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Maybe I should have focused on the drummer instead. Oh, dodged. You do firebomb. I'm gonna throw that on you. You have 25 burn resist. Did not resist. Nice. Okay. Order slay to wounded. You gain another special skill. You have six. If I hit this and you blight, I should not have done that because he has blight resist. Fuck. What is going on? They're getting buffs all everywhere. Just kill him, man. Oh, he's death store too, of course, because he's damn ordained. He has zero black death store resist though. But then I wick, then I go forward. But that, no, now I'm forward and I need to hit the corpse. I don't want to do that. Oh, I, I made a grave mistake. It doesn't don't you ignore this? Oh because you had weakness as well Dodge and you get reposted get blasted Play the wounded this seems to be going all right. They don't as long as they don't do much stress. It seems to be all right uh, I'm just gonna wicked slice you Can I move forward with this guy? I can't self forward one and then can I hit the back line in any way I can't I'm gonna move forward again so I can target the back line with you. Nice, huge blight. I wanna hit you, yeah. Dude! <laughs> okay, gridded. 11 damage. Oh boy, wait, you're actually almost dead. Deadly all the same. Oh, they're all dead. That went alright, and the bleed went away. Okay. So they get a slight heal and their we status the effects go away after combat. Brightly for all the world to see. Okay, I definitely need to heal next turn though, but that's fine because we got some heal abilities. The loathing yeah. abates. You're at eight, he eight health. That's not very good, but it's fine. But the also the loathing is gone. No more loathing. The graphics are... It has like this weird like 2D, 3D. It's cool. Very unique. Definitely different from the first one, because the first one was like full 2D. Like it was just Your very clear. They were all <laughs> flat pictures. And so they must fall. There we go. Forgotten outpost. Quick tactical retreat. Marvelous. I've been practicing my aim. They don't really care. No one really cares. I lose some flame and we leave. She gets mad if I leave this way. But you don't really care. I think I'm gonna retreat here because we don't have much to gain since we, we're gonna lose some flame though. So we're gonna have to equip that combat item to get more flame back. I don't know what they... I don't want to know what they do with these relics. So you're gonna leave as well. Combat wouldn't be too bad. We're pretty good. And it seems to be the same kind of fight as before. Let's just leave. No, I'm doing combat. I don't care. Minus two. Fuck you. I think we're doing all right. We're in a really good state. And that also get. Oh, God. That's many bow people. Good, huge advantage. Is there any ordained enemy? No advantage. No ordained. All right. We're good then. Just freaking blast them. Still seven through the token. Plus a combo. That's pretty good. Okay. I need to heal. I can't heal. Condition blocked. Why? Why? Uses three. How can I not use this right now? Target if less than... Oh, wait. How did you gain so much HP? Oh, you're no... No one is below 50. That's why I can't use it. And no one has... Okay. I don't know how he gained so much health, but I'll take it. Uh, let's... Oh, here we get huge piercing if I do it on a comboed enemy. It's going to do three to four. So if you get if you get a high roll here... Oh, never mind. Because he gets blocked, but that's fine. Just kill him. I should have probably focused on the bow because the bow people are going to be real annoying. Yeah, serrated bull that's going to bleed, but you resisted it. This is no time to Piercing bolter. bolts that probably went through the shield. Oh, you have cat's door. It's so inconsistent. I thought you had no resistance. Yeah. I guess enemies... I, I swear I've gotten death blows on enemies instantly before, but I guess they always just get resistance. Let's shoot the... Should do this. Three. That attack is pathetic. Okay, you're getting bleeded. Bled now. 
Um, let's kill... Wicked Slice. Let's kill the second one. Dude, am I like low rolling or are all my characters just terrible? Yeah, I am low rolling. Okay. <laughs> Critical. Never mind. Everything is forgiven. You're gonna die. No. Okay, so yeah, that guy. Okay, let's see. Is there a difference between these? Oh, so this one has death resist zero. This one has death resist dash dash. So if they have no death resist at all, it'll say dash dash. And then they die instantly. All right, noted. You should be dead. You should. You dodge, though. Thank you. You are dead. And then please hit for a little more. Three to five. You got five health. High roll, please. Let's go! <laughs> Wait. How did that do eight damage if it was three to five? I mean, I'll take it, but... Okay. Just shoot him. These corpses go away by themselves eventually, right? They like decay. Uh, I'm gonna... I could bandage you. Seems like I'm not in any trouble, but you're not really gonna do anything else. Let's just defender you. So they can stop attacking you. And then you can... Just throwing that to the back line. And then you can blinding... And you're not gonna hit, right? You're gonna miss. 50% chance to miss. Never mind. Fuck me, I guess. 50% <laughs> chance to hit 100% of the time. Um, you yourself. Yes. And then you just kill him. Let's go. Alright, that wasn't too bad. We just definitely need to. Oh, I need to equip the. The one pleasant in the extreme. Oh boy. This work oh, we get that health noble. trinket. Not necessary. I need to equip the the light thing and just start spamming it because our light is very low. Uh, oh no, it's not that low. Oh, because I didn't. I did the encounter. Um, you have bandage. You have stress. You have the smoke bomb. Let's do the this instead of the smoke bomb. Look pretty good. Reliable information brings accurate insight after all. Oh no, fuck. I did not see that. I don't know if I could have seen that. Probably was seen. Oh, there's a watchtower. Nice. We'll get the note. Also, I'm going through the vines. This was all a mistake. Stop stressing yourself out, Paracelsus. There's so much loathing everywhere. Jesus Christ. Watch. Okay. Oh boy, there's a lot of loathing, man, but I don't want to break my wheel. Okay, but I'm not gonna break my wheel, but it's gonna be real expensive to repair that, though. Because it's eight baubles every time I do this. How much do I have? I have 36. Okay. Um, rewards flame, food, and supplies. This, Oblivion's Ingress. Reward oh, because okay, so this is one of those, like, super scary battles. Do I have any mastery tokens right now? I have two mastery tokens. Um, this gives two loathing. This gives a ton of loathing as well. What is this? Creature den. Re rewards creature parts. Okay. Uh, oasis. A place to calm one's mind. I want to go here. But then I take two damage. Dude. This. <laughs> um, Livian's Ingress. That seems risky as hell. I'd rather just go this way and get some rewards. Let's just go that way. Even though we're going to take wheel damage, we're not going to take any more wheel damage past that point. So let's go here. This is, oh, shit. They all hated that. I should have looked. I didn't know they, like, given... They, like, say where they want to go. Your wheels. They have yeah, I know. Urgent repairs, do. but it's fine. Because we're not going to lose more. Hopefully. So I scouted, right? We should be fine. Mind and spirit by some existential shock. Begin a candle. The poor devils roam aimlessly amidst the trees. Sick oxen, listen, listing wagons. Let's lend an arm. So we get minus torch, but we gain plus armor and plus wheel. Wait, that's actually huge. Plus wheel. This is just huge amount of torch. This is minus torch and plus like resources. Oh, you can alt on the choice for more intel. In items? In items? Wait a minute. 
So this only gives me wheel because I already have max armor. I'd rather have two in items for five. That seems very good. What's it gonna be? Abandoned or forgotten. It is Soothing ours Cultus, now. Soothing cultists plus burn resist and uh, like the super friend or just like minor the negative one. Whispers. Oh, and the loathing goes down when you do that too. Nice. Because we're gonna get a bunch of loathing here. Oh, going very good. This video is gonna be real long, by the way, because the these loathing. apparently these runs are very long. I don't know when. <laughs> we're just gonna go until I die, maybe. I don't know, or we win somehow. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Forgot to help us. More candles. Uh, you want to do strike. And we gain... What is this? Speed and strength as well. Alright, we'll do that. And they love it. Amazing. I think everyone likes each other pretty well. Oh boy. Huge advantage all around. Holy shit. What do you have? Field Surgeon. We'll use the Healing Cell skill before... Oh my god. Ow. That hurts big time. Healing Cell. Target, heal... 50%. Sure. Where's the most damage? You have 8... 18... I think since you're gonna be taking the most hits, but you're like... Let's do you. Okay. Um, We Blight. So this guy sucks. This guy sucks. We blinding gas, but let's just go. I think the blight through the armor stacks is like, oh, but you resisted. Focus fire. No, I'm going to block it. I can't, right? Point blank shot. Boom. And damage even. Almost dead. If only that blight hit. How much blight resist do you have? 30. Unlucky. I'm going to defender you. So you get attacked, but then you're going to take the hit instead. And only take two damage. Perfect insane i'm gonna do are you still gonna attack no let's just do the thing so that we hit both and also get rid of one of those stacks that was amazing dude that taunt couldn't have been better on someone else oh defensive formation gaining huge amount of block annoyingly i'm gonna jump forward does this do combo anything just three to five you have five health i'm just gonna Oh, you're being defended by someone. I'm gonna shoot you. Seven damage? Yeah. Holy but surely. That store, I should have known that was gonna happen. That's fine. I should have blocked someone. Dude, you're taking a lot of damage. Dodge. I mean, he still has a dodge stack. But you need to be hit or you're not gonna die. I'd rather just go through this, like, super block, though, and even hit the blight. Watched. Seven, that's fine. Oh, look at this. We hit both, and we death store you. Let's go. Uh, six damage on the other character, too. <laughs> Efficient. Oh, no. But you're dead before you can even do it, because I'm going to shoot you right now. Nice try. Boom. Nice. Okay, so you didn't use the special attack. Another impediment. Cleared with impunity. And you're like super dead because you're getting... Oh no, you resisted it. And then you're gonna die to your blight. Let's go. Now we just need to kill this guy. What is he even gonna do when there's no one? <laughs> Excuse me. There's no one to... Die. He's just... He's just sad. Shoot him. Oh, I didn't do much damage, so it's gonna be a bit. Um, can only hit the blinding gas here. This will also do this real quick. So might as well. Blinding gas. Sure, don't do anything. Death before. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. You freaking uh, <laughs> did a seppuku. Okay. In don't let that guy live as last, because it gives you massive stress. I purpose. see. See. Noted for next time. Freaking death before dishonor. 
And the loathing goes away? Okay, that was, that was unfortunate because now uh, we were managing our stress so well. But hey, you gotta learn. You gotta learn that your actions have consequences. So we need to also avoid these. Let's go to the hero shrine here. We're gonna lose two armor. Oh god, loathing. The loathing but it just gives us more hero shrine. Hero shrine is so fun. I love hero shrine. And this is just... Oh, it's a resistant encounter. Reduces loathing, gains mastery as well. Oasis. Oh, we get minus stress here. No. Uh, can't afford to tarry. Let's fill a bottle or two. We gain H HP. Everyone is pretty hurt. Come, come. Let me wash your wounds. And here we get an in item. Use supplies. I'm doing this. This seems good. Everyone gets healed. Boom. Wait. There we go. I was about to say, did we even get any heal? That was awesome. I was hoping it would heal stress, but that's still fine. The Oasis. The Oasis is a much needed sanctuary along the road with peril. Stress relief and related items are the primary benefit. Okay, so I just got unlucky that I didn't get stressed there. Problem. I'm going to the hero I, not. I don't care. I want it. Even though it's going to be very costly. In terms of bottles. It's going to be fun. Oh, God. There we go. Jesus. <laughs> Ambush. I knew it, though. Couldn't we have done something about that? Uh oh, everyone is hating on each other. Here we go. Let's see, so we've been upgrading you. You have a lot of skills now. Freedom was nothing like what I'd hoped for. You are kind of good. You know what? I'm gonna do you. I like the I like the Plague Doctor a lot. I think Plague Blight is Doctor. just like so fun. Chapter one. So much damage. The good student. Good student. Oh, flame, by the way. Brilliant and bold. Her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect upon her extracurricular experiments. The mysteries of the human body. Uh -oh. Of life and death itself. Hovered just beyond her scalpel's reach. To kill someone? <laughs> if only she could acquire a course uh. of sufficient freshness. Uh oh. She gonna kill someone? Are we gonna murder someone in this minigame? Oh, no. There we go. It's just done. Uh, emboldening vapors. You gain plus attack. Acceptance is a journey. And we get a mastery point. That's pretty cool. I think I might equip that. I have, she already have really good skills, but it's just like when you can't hit the front line, you sometimes don't have much to do. Obviously, this is useless because we never get to attack with it. So I'm going to put that on instead. What does it do when you upgrade? You gain plus speed. I was hoping it would give like a super attack buff when upgraded, but I mean, that's something. You gain plus like 50 or something. All right. Okay. Oh, so many candles. We're gonna gain more. Oh, Protection yeah, I was about to say. To uh oh, we have no wheel, we have no armor. But it's okay, because we're gonna be at the end soon. Now we're gonna have the oblivion thing, though, which might overload our stress, but we'll see. We're very healthy, at least. Oh, yeah. You gain huge dodge. You point blank and shoot the big guy, I guess. But you're... Oh, yeah, because I, I can't shoot. All right. 13 damage. He has 41 HP, though, and he got comboed. Uh-oh. Horror again. Okay. Blight him. He has zero blight resist, so blight him. And I got a combo on that, which I forgot what that does, but... If I kill the damage dealer, it can only stress me. Which is still problematic, but... You have no stress. You have lots of stress. But you also do 6 to 8 damage. I'm going to Defender the backline, so you don't get too much stress, because you're very important. And then you're just gonna... We do this to burn... Yeah, let's do this. 5 damage still, and we got rid of that. That attack, upgrading that attack was so huge. Oh god. That was not much damage, but they all oh, gained so much stress. 
enfeebling my asthma. No stress on that one, though. Dude, what the hell is all these names of these attacks? That's, these are some spooky names. Just shoot... Oh, I can't shoot him. He gained freaking stealth. I don't have that stealth removal thing anymore. All right, um... You are exulting unspeakable cosmic forces. Nice, dude. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. I have no torch. Let's use this. Can I not use this? Or target on the flame? How do I use this? Oh, target on yourself. And gain some flame. And then we'll do... Or I guess. Yeah, I was gonna miss. But we gain... We get rid of a lot of stuff there. Oh, that still hits even though he's stealth. Uh-huh. Boom. That is also reducing our stress. Oh, boy. You can't do this anymore. Because it does... You don't know that that guy exists. Sadly. Target. We can buff attack or we can... Bl Let's do blinding vapor since you guys are very annoying. You're almost dead, but you dodge. Nice. Amazing. Thank you for attacking the guy with 75% chance to dodge. Oh, he gets healed. How annoying. He's got such massive heals. Can you stop? I did so much. That was... I worked for that. It took forever to do that. Okay, I need to kill the... 70 damage. And five stress. That's insanely busted. Okay, you need to die. I may or may not have done this in the complete wrong order, and now I'm... Now I'm terribly... In a terrible position. I, it's, it's exactly what I, was, what I was saying at the very beginning of this all. If an enemy doesn't look dangerous, they're the most dangerous enemy you've ever faced in your entire life. And that is a perfect example. This guy is just a freaking blob, but he is <laughs> absolutely murdering me right now by buffing the rest of the team. Okay. Oh boy, we can't... Oh, this has cooldown. Emboldening Vapors. Okay, so you can shoot the back line, so you need to be buffed. You get buffed. Um, You just gotta focus... We just gotta somehow kill this guy. I don't even know how this guy... Oh, he got burned. Make your confession. Fuck me, man. This is awful. Flash weaving, he gets regen now. Literally everything I've done up till now to that guy is a complete waste. Five damage. Okay, but he has a chance to miss. Blinding. He dodged it, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, I can still not hit that guy. How bullshit is that? I'm gonna defend you. You gain super dodge or super block. That was very little. Oh, but that gives that massive stress thing. Okay, kill this guy just as soon as we can. Just keep focus firing him. Just don't even think about it. We could also remove stress though. I should really be doing that. That was, a, that was so annoying. I did so much damage to that guy and now it's all a complete waste. Okay. You just gotta go down, man. You have three HP. Okay, I need to check my combat items, so at least they're not doing much now. Oh, boy. <sighs> this is fucked up. Okay, I don't... These combat items don't work. Let's do more defender. On... You really can't be hit more. You are maxed out on stress. Laudanum. Here we go. Reduce your stress slightly. And it gets rid of the horror. Sanity returns. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You're basically gonna die, not really. You don't get a turn anymore, though. I just want to hit you. It hit through the 75% dodge. Absolutely insane. Instead of 19, it did 5, but you're fucking... Uh-oh. This is terrible. I got an achievement. Don't make me turn this coach around. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, unstress yourself. I should have really been using my stress items more. Okay, you need to die, but you have dodge, but you need to die. Oh! Let's go! Holy shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's got 10 blights? 10 bleed for three turns. Okay, I need to get rid of that ASAP. Use this again, please. 
This is terrible. Okay. You're dead. That was amazing. Just focus this guy. Dude, I went through the 75% dodge. That's so good. Okay. Battlefield medicine him ASAP. 13 and get rid of the massive bleed. Get rid of the horror. Okay. Okay. That, that was a big recovery. If only I just started the fight focusing these last two characters. That would have helped a lot. <laughs> Anxiety foments insidious fears. Yes, because you're out of blindness, but you still get the stress. Okay, he gets healed, whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, he also gets cured. Oh, what? You get the attack twice? You cheater? Just blight him again somehow. Oh, yeah. Good. Up. Valve Grant, let's go! <laughs> continues. Nice. Okay. Okay. We're in a good spot. Heal you. Uh, pick to the face or blight you. Just get a block. And then we just get the most out of getting rid of that token. Uh, then you. Defender. Because I don't think he can even hit the last party member. Oh, well, if he does this, yes. Fuck. Okay. Now this should be fine. We have recovered. Successfully recovered. It took us a lot of time. Though. Oh, and we gain a... Yeah, I need to use Wicked Slice more because it gives you bonus attack. Let's try and stack the Blight. Ten or three turns. Holy shit. More Blight. Oh, yeah, more Blight. Fourteen. It absolutely... He's just gonna die. Oh, he does store, of course. But he gets minus attack though on that store. Two damage instead of 16. <gasps> Holy shit. Nice. Okay. That all went pretty good all considering. Even the big ones. I did not I, I did not anticipate the healing. Uh, unforgettable trinket. If stained item is equipped. A 75% max HP and fifth minus 50% damage. Interesting. Distant Trinket, 50% max HP minus 5 crit. That doesn't seem too bad. I really like the... Wait, yeah, let's see. The whispers. Okay, it's great to see that. We, we lift, we lift. Okay, you got no... Who is it? So we had a cursed trinket, right? This one. Unforgettable trinket. It's stained. I could give that to the back line. So you gain absolutely massive health 49 but you gain no attack but that doesn't reduce your blight it just reduces your your damage while also doing the bite which doesn't matter too much but i don't know if this really does much you have a lot of health then sure and you gain a bunch of light res 90 percent blight resist that's pretty insane Sure, we'll do that. And then you, but you can be. Oh, this is fine. Uh, 15 health. Oh, that only gives you six more health. Minus 5% crit. It doesn't crit too much anyway. How much does. He only has 5% crit on his attacks. But I, then I'm taking away all the crit. For six health? That doesn't seem worth. Um, you get movement resist. I don't want to give you death door resistance down because you take a lot of hits. We'll just have this on hand for now. It doesn't really matter too much. Okay. I honestly think I might just turn this... No, because you do hit sometimes. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh, link. Crazy how mobile this thing is. And relax. Yeah. Oh, they heal. Wait, they, they talk each other, talk to each other, and heal as well. But there we go, the in. Nice. That was pretty good. Oh boy, we need to use our mastery points wisely here. I wonder how many areas there are. Because we're trying to go to the mountain, right? For a time. Grandmother's house achievement. What does that mean? Um, they are the tangle. I see. We get a quirk. Negative. Negative. Positive. Okay, that's we're real unlucky. Negative read that doesn't really matter too much. It's only five. Is certain dry satire burns the hottest? 
Oak burner. That doesn't matter too much. Uh, this must gain Daredevil plus 10% damage. Combat start weakness. And you gain stress when you miss. That isn't even that positive, honestly. <laughs> but okay then. Okay then. All right, here we go. We have we completed the goal, so we gained a trinket. A pretty good trinket. Indelible trinket, which is the highest level. 25% healing received. Let's see. I'll give that to you since you're like the the super tank. So you're gonna just have lots of healing received plus 45 healing received. Um Okay. In items. Who likes each other? You are having a great, very friendly, but you already literally have a relationship. Positive relationship. Don't you? Aren't you hopeful with him? I think so. Uh, right? Wait, is this gone? Did it get removed? I don't see it anymore. Uh, you don't like them very much. I do, I think I'll do Dismas and them. Do... Let's hope that we get lucky here. This could be bad. Dismas and you. Three plus. Nice. Okay. Uh, another in item. This burn resistance. I'll do that on you since you take the most hits. Uh, and then we are out of in items. So let's buy some. We have a lot of money. Provisioner. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end. 60 of this, but let's repair first. First of all, because we gotta do this. Be maintained if it is to carry you okay. where you must go. Oh boy, what am I doing? I'm clicking all the buttons. Um, you could do until next in you gain minus speed, but minus stress as well. How much stress do we still have? We still have quite a bit of stress remaining. Um, I think I want this. How much more laudanum do we have? I just, I'm just gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy all of it. Um, then I'll buy the whiskey. It's eight though. Any like, this is for the whole party. This is only once. I'll buy this and then I'll A buy comfort just all of the whiskey. Damnation. Plus 5% crit, mining healing received. That isn't too bad, honestly. I think I'm gonna put that on I think I'm gonna get that and then put it on one of our damage dealers. And we have, we could stack this plus the other one. This is two targets minus stress. Take that, yes please. I should have bought more of that. Fuck, I should have definitely bought more of that. Now we again do that. Boom and boom. Okay, that is already basically recovered. Plus, plus, negative. Okay, two, four, um, uh, over two. Okay, who needs to be friends with every, with who? This is a little com confusing. You're friends with basically everyone. Um, you're not friends with him. I kind of want to uh, increase you guys, so you're not gonna like. Oh, let's go. You're not gonna become annoying. And you're gonna get a negative friendship. That's great. Okay, we. That's awesome. Um, well, let's see. Ismas, you're gonna get this thing. Don't we have two of that? I swear we had two of that. Where did it go? Does someone else hold it? No one holds it. You gain this. You get that out of here. Give it to you. Wait, we don't... And then I guess this combat item or this. Remove stun days and stuff and add dodge. that then we don't have this which is just plus flame that could be useful actually let's do that uh, but if we get like stun lock this is, we're gonna be so happy with that let's give it to you you have plus health plus damage plus crit you already kind of crit quite a bit you could do like massive crits yeah that sounds fun okay now let's go mastery training. Learn what can be Four taught. things. Okay. That you may stand just a little taller at the end. You have a lot of good skills already. Um, this could just increase the. This gets super dodge instead. It's pretty good. But not necessarily something I would purchase. The blinding gas is thirty. Oh, it gives them days to. I think that's pretty good. Emboldening Vapors just speeds them up. That's not... I think I'm doing this. 
then I'm doing maybe Wicked Slice. What is this? This removes stealth. You cannot get... No, I don't, don't want to upgrade that. This gives massive crit. If I, if I want to use this... Like if I... If I emboldening Vapor, this guy, and then I also give him a crit token, he can start hitting for massive amounts. I think I'm gonna do that. I could do that too. Wicked Slice. Hmm. You gain... Oh boy, wait, he gains... This is insane. He gains for three turns, he gains... This is crazy. Wait. Yeah, I'm upgrading that for sure. That's, I mean, I haven't used it once, but that is crazy. And then I'll just upgrade the throwing dagger as well. I think that's pretty good. We use all these skills. If you got so many mastery points, that's crazy. Okay. Um, we're pretty good. We, let's check our trinkets because we actually got a lot of them. But you have massive health, which doesn't... or ma Yeah, massive health, massive blight resist, which isn't the best. But whatever, you have trinkets, you have trinkets. You don't. You have stun resist down. Um... Plus health, movement resist down, death throw. I don't want that at all. I think I'll just leave you with no trinket, honestly. These trinkets. There's so much downside to these trinkets. I don't want it. I don't want it. Let's just go. Black trap. There is nothing oh, for mountain. Now but to uh -oh. on. <laughs> Come what may. The mountain. I don't have a choice. I think. Here we go. Frigid wind wails through desolate canyons. I could reduce stress slightly more, but this is it, I guess. Oh boy, rest for the night. So we're still a little hurt. I should probably have healed. I don't, I just, oopsie daisy. <laughs> okay, are they gonna be friendly? No, wait, what? Each covets what the other has and plots to take it. Wait, and the other relationships were just removed? I, I never use this skill anyway, but this I use all the time. You gain stress if I use that? That is fucked. Wait, where did the other relationships go? Is it just like a... Is it only until the next end that I get those relationships? That's really stupid. I should have focused on the... I mean, I guess you live and learn, but... I should have focused on the relationships that were already incredible. What? Weren't those relationships, like, insanely high? At last, the great ziggurat. Yeah, the, all this and stuff disappeared. And regret. You have nine. Oh, you need it to be up till 20 at an end to... G oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's just horrendous. I just messed up big time. I should have focus fired my whiskeys to, to get... Okay. Noted for next time. You need to be at 20 at an end to gain a positive relationship. And it lasts until the next end. Why? That seems a little insanely punishing. But I guess otherwise you could... Have like everyone be friends with each other and you could be super broken, but okay. I, I it probably set that in one of the tutorials somewhere. I should have read it. I was just like, if I read everything, I would have been here all day. Um, let's see what this boss has in store for us. Those are pretty. Oh wait, we got a healed mass. So yeah, that, that, that actually never mind. Not bad at all. Oh, we're getting healed a lot. What the fuck? Uh, uh-oh. Oblivion. We can't escape, probably, right? Yeah, we gotta fight. Okay. You, big time, like... Everyone likes this, but no, there's no, like, positive bonuses. I'll just do this. Everyone loves... Everyone loves Dismas. And if only I could get a positive relationship on the field. <laughs> okay. Kill this guy ASAP. He's gonna be healing and shit and all kinds of bulls. Bull baloney. Um, but let's start blocking. We do defender on you because you have lots of stress. You have dodge already. Okay. Yeah, uh, sadly, I... Oh, no, it's ounce of prevention. I thought it was... Okay, I, don't, I never used that at all. That was not too bad. Then, uh, okay. Um, blinding gas. Sure, I'll hit two with that. We upgraded it, right? Oh, he resisted it. E yo boy. It's going all kinds of unspeakable garbage. Levendo. And he gets blown backwards. Let's see. Um, you have massive crit. We could hit for this. I think... Here, let's... No, but I want to focus fire the back. Eight damage, yeah. Let's just get this guy out of here. Whatever he's going to do, it's not going to be fun. That was just mostly horror, probably. Yeah. 
don't put miss. Amazing. Okay, shoot the back line. Eight. One more hit and you're done, unless you got death throw resist. Critical for one? <laughs> Dumbass. Die. Right. Let's go. Critical for 12. It was completely unnecessary, but got him. Uh, Noxious Blast. Noxious Blast. This guy, so get rid of all everything. I don't know what the combo does again. What does the combo do on you? Oh, he gets piercing. Okay. Um, Defender, you're still defended. Let's do this. Steadfast. That thing is insane. You get massive block and you keep getting blocked. Oh, no. But you dodge. Nice. Okay, you need to be defended now. This Noxious Blast all over the place. 12 damage. Just hit him. Just kill this guy. And now he's going to go with the Death Store, which is going to reduce your damage, which is then going to make your hit completely meaningless. And you're going to... Oh, we're... you can heal too? Two damage. Nice try. Nice try, guy. Okay, so you're basically going to die because you have zero resist. Uh, defender on you. I have way too much. Dude, look at all these damage. Two damage, but it does give horror probably. Never mind, not even. Um, what does do does the most damage? You do the most damage. Less crit though. Thirty crit. Oh, unlucky. Uh, noxious blast. Just keep stacking that thing. Measured and boom. <laughs> That's so good. You do you do need to be stress healed, but it's all going mighty fine, I'd say. Do this for a big crit. No big crit, but it's alright. This is like going. How is this the first run? Bolster you to get stressed down. Yes. They're not gonna attack. Bol Defender you. You don't get attacked. Oh, it, only, it moves it. Okay, so you can only defend one person at a time, which I guess makes sense. But now I know. Is he gonna go to. Do, I could do battlefield medicine on you. Let's do this. And then just... I mean, you're already going to go death store anyway. Just battlefield medicine you. I don't really do anything, but whatever. Okay, maybe I can get him into death store and then he dies to the blight. Dude, I barely took a hit there. Barely scratched me. Nice. Do I get a roar still? And this oh, I don't get anything. What the hell? They just stared at me. All right. Do we heal still? It seems like on this road you heal or something. Maybe. Yes, they're healing. My waste. Maybe the torch is going down, but the heal and the health is going up. Oh, this is cool. The Collegianus Cathedral. Malign Temple of the Iron oh. Crown. <laughs> oh, boy. That's cool looking, though. <laughs> What the frick? It's the boss? Oh, what the hell are the these? Must be freed of They're padlocks? Incarceration. Denial of reason. Added. Cannot use stress heal or items. Okay, you dodged. Oh, you're dodging everything. Thank you, Dismas. Sponsored by Dismas. Okay, um, what is going on? We have Shackle of Despair. We have Bolt of Lamentation. Add luck of wasting, lash of regrets. And we got a big brain in the background. <laughs> okay. Um, I can't use items, right? Wait, it said I can't use items. Oh, can't use heal skills or items, or no heal items. I'm gonna just smoke bomb you. And you are probably the big damage dealer, but are not gonna do too much annoying shit. And then the back lines are gonna be real annoying. So you get minus that. Then I do point blank shot on you as well. Boom. Okay. Let's see. Noxious, but maybe we focus fire? I don't know. We probably gotta... Do they have blight resist? They have zero blight resist? Oh, because of the... I'm just gonna do it. Because of the combo piece. Like the combo thingy. Um, What do I do? I want to... I feel like I should target to you. But you're like real juicy right now. But you're also not going to do much. Um, stack more blights. Honestly, blight might be amazing. Let's just do it. Go 
Oh, Blight 10. We blinked out. This is probably going to be some ultra gimmick soon here. Okay, they're doing lots of stress damage, I see. Uh, so we need to do... Let's defender you, because you have the most stress. You're going to be... We need to do use a stress heal. The Nile of Fortitude. Okay, so every turn we get it. Cannot use healing skills or items. Okay. That did nothing. Uh-oh. Okay, that's not too bad. You need to be stress healed. Nice. Company. You will be noxious. I'm just gonna... Like, I'm maybe focusing the wrong one here, but I'm, like, doing 16 Blight. It's and because of that, dude, this is going crazy. Well, I'm just gonna hit him. Oh boy, they probably have a lot of death store resist, don't they? Don't they? No, they don't have any. Wait, you're dead. Uh, okay, next one. Shoot you. That does no damage. Whoopsie daisy. Blight is OP. Turns out. Okay, he had. He got. Stupid shit. Let's just start blighting the second one because we can still hit this with the plague doctor as well. Oh, but you have blight resist. Denial of reach. Can't use ranged. Uh-oh. Well, luckily, you still have other skills. You know what? What if we take aim? We get big buff. And then next time we shoot. Huh? Take this time. Okay, this is not even that bad, honestly. They're still only halfway. They're getting lots of stress, though. When they're blind now. You can only use this or the pick. What does this do? Remove days. Just pick the. It's probably gonna miss. Oh! <laughs> Never mind then. Holy shit. Okay, so I can't use these. Let's stress heal yourself because you're the most stressed. And then battlefield medicine for big heal. Be walked alone. Paralyzing fear. That's not a yours. And vexation. Stunned. Uh, can I get rid of that somehow? I don't have anything to get rid of that. Wait, that guy was just dead, by the way. Amazing. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna defender. You're weak as well. That's pretty scary. I'm gonna defend them. Okay. Denial of fortitude, which is mean no sh no heal. That's not too bad. You got stunned. That was real unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, you need to be... Uh, hit someone. Just focus. It doesn't seem to matter to... I have Shackle of Despair for sure, right? That's like the main one right now. Poison dart you. Is it, can he be blighted? He can be blighted. If it blights, we can kill it. Oh no, dude. He's gonna go to death's door. And you're almost gonna get stressed out the shit. Heal yourself. Okay. Noxious Blast. The front one. Just try and get him down. Miss! Oh, fuck you. Denial of Reason, which is gonna be no stress heal, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, you cannot be hit. You can be hit. You cannot be hit. You all, you can block. And then you need to... Uh-oh. You're gonna get that store next time. And we can't use stress... Stress heal. So we can't use heal. No stress heal. Alright, shoot this. Huge crit. Magnificent crit. This must needs to be healed real bad. The mind grasp grows ten. Oh my god. Three stress, man. He needs to he needs to be healed. Even though the blight will be huge, but this is just this gotta happen. Oh boy. Uh now let's see. Blight on this fool. Blight even more. He's got Oh boy, he's almost gonna go down. He's stunned too. Denial of reach, no shooting. That's terrible because we need to hit this guy. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to have a meltdown. Why is everything so annoying? They're stunning. Dude, he needs to die. Um, I can't get rid of stun, right? Target gets bone. You are going to do a pick to the face. Where does that hit? That only hits front. This is going to be disabled... 
Battlefield Madison. I think I hit you with your you with that you with that because you're gonna get stressed and then you're probably gonna lose your health anyway. I only used this three times. So I think I should save that for now and then I should do this. This is not ideal. I really would have wanted to blight there. That denial of reach was terrible. Oh no! This is where it ends, dude. <gasps> the save! Oh my god! <laughs> oh baby insane he healed themselves absolutely crazy okay okay we do stand a chance <laughs> i love this game it's so this is like this is what you live for man okay that was awful wandered uh oh denial of fortitude that's not bad now we can shoot this guy okay shoot him he's gonna be dead right passing to heal by the way what if the hero's on death's door, they will regain some health if you choose to pass their turn. This is a good way to quickly get a hero out of death's threat, especially if you have no other healing items. Cool, I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, Noxious Blast. This guy is next. Although you do, like, ranged shit. I mean, it's just, like, just try and get them down ASAP. Let's do whatever. Just Noxious, like, just stack as much Blight as possible. Ten Blight. Because then even if people start dying, the Blight will do the job for us. Uh-oh. Dude, the Blight is just... And you're dead! Nice! Okay, okay. But there's gotta be like a second phase, right? Or something. Denial of Reach! Why you keep doing that? You need to go. No! Audrey! <laughs> Uh-oh. This is where... It... Yep, uh, that's, uh, that's like the standard. That happens like 90% of the time, so we got pretty lucky with this guy. Okay, um, this is, this is, this is not great. He's almost dead, though. I think I, they don't leave a body. So what if I duelist advance? You know, I need to do five damage. Nice, okay, you're dead. I think we can do this. You need to heal yourself. Get out of death's door because then next turn oh but he's gonna spam denial of reach every turn huh because that's his thing oh but we get denial of fortitude first now we can stack blight on him this turn yes. wait how did you not die by the way weren't you supposed to die to this and then i just keep shooting you or you are just gonna die next turn because you have n yeah you're dead do this. This <clears throat> is just damage now. It's fine. This is fine. He doesn't do much damage, though. Uh, we could block. Or did we just hit? I think we just go for the damage. I don't know if this is... This is pro. There we go. You're done. Only this guy's left. I'm gonna do denial of reach every time. So no more blight from this person. Which means you're basically useless now. But at least you can do the emboldening vapors on you let's get out of here by the way hero death dead heroes remain dead for this entire expedition but we will be available again next time that's door how much oh she had down she had like negative death door resistance that's why whoopsie daisy uh let's see i can daze you i think i'm gonna to block someone to block you because you're not gonna be doing much because you like are gonna get denial of reached every turn Wicked sliced. Wow. Oh, luckily the damage doesn't matter. Is, are you gonna do the same thing? You don't have another one, right? Yeah. Okay. So denial of reaches. But now, oh, but the knife. I got rid of the knife. It's fine. Just, just wicked slice every time. He's gonna get blocked. Amazing. The, the taunt there was awesome. Okay. Ounce of, ounce of prevention. Genuinely doesn't do it. Oh, no, but I can pass. Let's pass. Yes. Oh, but it also gives stress. It's fine, though. Uh, this is just the way it, this, we win, right? Unless there's like an insane second phase, but there might be because it feels a bit too easy. Uh, Just do emboldening vapors on you. And then you get like a 50% damage. Boom. One HP. You serious. Oh my god, one more time. Just one more hit. 
This is fine. He's gonna wicked slice your ass. Boom! Now what? At last, the world's mind is free to remember a time before the cancerous corruption. I did it. Shackles destroy. Oh, now we fight the brain. Uh, oh. Oh? <laughs> we did it? No way. <laughs> what? Success so long pursued. Holy it's shit. Only with creeping revelation. Grievous. That's an insane amount of candles. 88 candles? What? Wait, what's going to happen now? We win? Excuse me? This is really cool. I like this game a lot. Like, uh... It's very different from the first one because the first one you have. It was oh. you who found the cipher, scribbled hastily in the decaying margins of some long-forgotten tome, scribbled in blood. Whether by providence or happenstance, we stumbled upon the mark of some strange power invoked the world over, reflected in cultures predating mankind itself. A semicircle radiating five points of power. A symbol hidden deep in the iconography of every ancient empire. Oh, the like the iron crown. Yeah. <laughs> enigmatic and ubiquitous. Interesting. Alrighty. Altar of hope. I'm just like, what is going on? We we win? <laughs> Like, we win chapter one. Denial. Let's go. Altar of hope. Okay. We get this. What do we have? Intrepid coast. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. We get Find to spend all the points. Advantage. This is the victory lap. The intrepid coast. Coast. Uh, here's where you can invest boons that will assist your journey now and in future expeditions. Okay. To inventory slots. Stagecoach inventory slot. I see. Arriving at Valley Inn, you get relics and baubles. Cool. Uh, you get a pet, orphan wolf cub. 5% stress resist per luxury gear item equipped. Plus 10% positive relation chance. That seems pretty good. Unlocks pet slot. Pet slot? Sure, we'll get that. That sounds fun. A sounds little just... company for the long ride ahead. Exactly. Filthy stagecoat skin. It's just a skin. I don't want that. Uh, then we have despairing flare Infern the despairing flare hope a cruel illusion negative Negative quir oh, this is like oh so the ca I didn't equip the candle by the way I bought I got it, but I didn't actually put it on so I didn't play on easy mode I don't want to hear any of that in the comments. I did not play on easy mode <laughs> uh, So this is like the the opposite of easy mode. This is hard mode. I see that's cool. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Obviously, that would be stupid. Uh, sure, we'll get the inventory slots. Hail the vessel of your deliverance. And I'll get a stagecoach. That seems pretty good. Increased chance that candles appear at map locations. I'm gonna take that because it's an investment for the These future. These are invested with noble purpose. Every rotation, blessed rest. For the warriors of our cause. I think I'm gonna take these because it's gonna allow. I, I'm just gonna go a little crazy here. It costs a lot, but that plus one weapon or wheel plus one armor, so we don't. Uh, like we we can take riskier paths. Okay, cool. Resourcefulness, life location scouting, stagecoach repair costs go down. That's really expensive though. Let's um look at the rest. What do you have? Timeless wood. Uh, what is this? Elect memory, a hot bath. Oh, when you do their shrine, you get a memory. Hot bath plus 10 stress resist or speed up. Stress resist, absolutely awesome. Give it to me right now. When all is lost, we cling to what we can remember. Okay, that's amazing. And we have the speed up. We have speed up. Oh wait, that's a one, I could only, oh. Oh, I see. I should have given that to someone more important then. I mean, speed up on Dismas is not very bad. That's pretty good. Honestly, I want speed up on you because you have that like, uh, that like thing that gives you attack that like emboldens someone else. So going earlier seems better for that. And you also have a heal, which means that if you go before someone else, you can get them out of death's door so they don't get like triggered by their bleed or blight or something. So I'm going to give that to you. A memory and then of I can't give anything else. Yeah. Pain. Okay, cool. 
Uh, then we have the living city, which is, what is this? Oh, it's unlocking people. Hellion, runaway, jester, leper, occultist, vestal, flagellant? Never heard of that one. Bounty hunter. Okay, so most of these I'm familiar with because they're also in Darkest Dungeon, except the flagellant. I don't know that one. Um, leper is usually a huge damage dealer. I, I'm not, I haven't played much with, I, I wasn't very uh, risk taking in Darkest Dungeon. I mostly just stuck to the basic crew, like a crusader, a highwayman, a uh, plague doctor, and like a, a hellion or an occultist. Like I was, I was pretty basic. So I might, hellion is pretty good. I usually, we can also upgrade the ones we already have. I really like the man at arms. 5% death door resist. Uh, price of pride can be found, which is a trinket. Gain when hit, 30% 33. Oh, it's an indelible trinket. It's a trinket you can find uh, that you can equip on the man at arms, which gives huge things. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think this is just nice. Oh, they all gain this. I mean, if I'm going to be, I definitely am going to be going with you again. I'm going to be going with you again, and I'm going to be going with you again. So I'm just going to give both, all three of them. I don't know if I'm going to go with the Grave Robber. I might I have to think about who I want. I think I'm going to just sit on that for a little bit, who I want. And then... To a thing <clears throat> is to make it real once more. Is, does it cost a lot to unlock someone? Or is it just like a... It's A to unlock. Okay. Uh, Hellion, front la front ra rank. What do you do? Front rank as well. Burn, stealth, support. Any rank. Bleed, stress, heal, support. We could have bleed and blight, so that if blight doesn't work, we still have the bleed. Stress heal is real good. Leper, front rank, high damage, self-sufficient. Durable. Back rank, range damage, healer, offensive support. You do healer as well. What are you? Light, durable, sacrificial support. Sacrificial support? Bounty hunter can sometimes be hired at the inn. That's wait, I'm doing that, because if you die if you lose a hero, you can get this guy instead then. That's cool. Um that just seems like an all-around upgrade. You are not bad either, honestly. Maybe we'll just go again with the same team. It's kind of basic though. Let me know. Let me know. I'm gonna I'm gonna save a few candles. So you guys in the comments can let me know which I should, which one you guys would like to see. Um, I'm gonna get some trinkets. A drop of sanity. Bounce start 15% for stealth, and you gain on mist. That's pretty cool. Uh, I clicked Hearts the wrong button. Will carry the day. Just keep unlocking more stuff. A welcome advancement oh, in the science of survival. See? It gives bleed on the enemy. And move. Oh. Move resist as well. Stage coach. Unlock everything a little bit. New instruments will help us diagnose the world's affliction. Hero Shrine gives scouting. Scouting. That's cool. It's doing all equally. Every twinkling recollection is another implement at our disposal. That's not very good. Let's just do. I mean, this is gonna take a bit. <laughs> Earn end. Fifteen percent gain on miss. Earn end, you gain speed. Gain on miss, days. Okay. Just... I don't know if I'm going to get all of these. A healing salve, that's pretty good. Road gear. On entering region, you gain plus eight. Whoa, that's pretty sick. Let's get another stagecoach. For each location, chance to produce concoction and powder items. Nice. Uh, round. I like in items. Round start five. Oh, you gain huge stress down, but also chance of stress up. I like in items. Did you unlock these so easily? Round start. Just to spam in items. Maybe there's gonna be more relationship in items. Plus speed. Get combat items. And let's see. 16, 24. So let's spend four more. So we're gonna take one more coach item. And then one more trinket. Let's get two more trinkets. I'm just gonna unlock them and then whatever. We'll, we'll see them during the mission. And then we can unlock three heroes. Okay, so let me know which ones you would like to see. That was way better. I did not expect to win the first I don't. I mean, that's probably the first chapter I'm assuming. And then the next chapter is you need, unlock all heroes to gain access to the mountain, interesting. And then 
This was chapter denial, and then the next chapter is going to be probably way harder. Let me know if you want to see that. Vote with the like or dislike button. If you want to see more, like it. If you don't want to see more, dislike it. That's how I'm going to judge it. Uh, I really enjoyed my time with this. This is a lot of fun. I think they did a great job here. It's not like this kind of reminds me of the town in the first game where you like upgrade the town, but it's not as prevalent. It's they kind of like turned it into a true, a more true roguelike with still some kind of permanent progression. I really enjoy it. I, I like this this change. It's it's cool. So yeah, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. And if you want to join the live streams, you join us at twitch.tv slash Insta. Click the link in the description down below. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.